What's happening, Hoodlum Gang? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Hoodie from the Hood, aka your friend from that big O end. And I'm back with some more classic, epic, legendary material. You already know how I get down. And uh, without further ado, we're gonna let the homie introduce himself. Gonna tell the people who we got on the platform today. My name is Big Kilo G from Oceanside, Deep Valley Crip. And this is my homie right here. What's his name? Big Row D O Double G. And this is right. the homie right here. That's T Ski. Right, All right. The game. Okay, um, we're gonna start from the beginning, homie. Uh, what year were you born? I was born in 1974. 1974. Uh, what hospital? What city? I was born in St. Louis, Missouri. And my my sister was born here in Oceanside in 1975. That's how long I've been here. Oh, all right. So Tri City you, Hospital. So so you pretty much was out there for a year, if even that. Yeah, barely there, because she's uh, 18 months apart. Oh, my birthdays right. is five days apart, so we'd be the same age for five days. All right. Um, so when you moved to Oceanside, what area did you move to first? I moved uptown. So it was, uh, what I knew as far as a child was uh, the east side right here in Pasole area and CMG area. Right. You know, so, you know that's where most of the black state and uh, everybody when I came first. from, you know, that's everybody came to first. That was just side. like the hub you know, where they had the Sterling homes and everything yeah, like yeah. that. So military was very involved in that back in the day too because my grandmother worked on uh she worked for the naval hospital you know what i'm saying for over 30 some years you know what i mean retired from there you know i was inside black military yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah but none of my family was in the my, my dad was in the navy so you know what i mean uh i was inside basically came from up there on the east side because the valley was just like cornfields and just up and coming, you know what I mean, a few houses. And strawberry patches. You know, strawberry, strawberry patches. patches and, that, yeah. yeah. So it mostly, when you look to one side, you just saw the agriculture, you know what I'm saying? Right. And mm -hmm. Houses on one side, you know, before they had the toll bridge and stuff like that. Yeah. And that's, um, that's interesting that you mentioned um, that area being like where all the blacks was. And you mentioned something called the Sterling Homes, which I just discovered being on YouTube, um, that was a housing project. Right. Yeah. A lot yeah. of people didn't know yeah. that Oceanside had a housing project. Um, I seen it on YouTube probably about three weeks ago or a month ago. It popped up on my feed and I was watching it and it was like in black and white. It was like some footage from back in the days. Yeah. They was talking about the Sterling homes and it was for uh, the military people and their yeah. families. Mm -hmm. So that's crazy, man. Um, you used to have to cut through the area to try to get to the house quicker so you ain't walking on the main I lived street. On right there, the street right behind. Yeah. Me. When I first came to Oceanside. I lived on Marquette, you know, our family on Zeiss, you know what I mean, uh, Devil's Lane, Loretta, you know what I mean? Uh, we got Oceanside, because we've been in Oceanside for all our lives, you know. We cub stack at the boys' club, you know what I'm saying? We did. Everything that you did in Oceanside, you know, what I mean, you can't say that uh, we missed something because we was a, a part of everything, pretty much of uh, of our whole culture. We seen the breaking, we went from the breaking to the banging, and and you know, what I'm saying and from there it just is when you know from what it is today. Learn how to swim at Brook Street. Yeah, we yeah, learn how to swim Street. at Brook Street. <laughs> pay that little dollar fifty cent. You know, what I'm saying to swim. Yeah. Right up here, you know what I'm saying? That, yeah. So, so are the Sterling homes still there? Nah, no, they've been knocked yeah, down for years, 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 years. There's so many people that don't really don't even really know about those. You know, what I'm mean? telling you, I found out about it on the Humbug. I was just, yeah. you know, how you be on YouTube and stuff start referring yeah. you. That's As a matter of fact, old history, right yeah. there. Yeah, I'm telling you, it was like in the '50s or the '60s. It was showing like the housing projects. Mm -hmm. I'm like, that's crazy. I didn't know that. And it's yeah. on YouTube. You could probably type it in right now and it'll yeah, pop Sterling up. Was, yeah. It was, it was, it was it had the, 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 the gate around it, and everything. Yeah. You had to cut through. Right there. Right. Right. You, you, through it. Before, you know what I'm saying? You got to push your way through. Remember, they said, yeah. right there on the east side, yeah. on the corner. That's yeah. where That was where, where yeah. Negro was. That a and on uh, they, Michigan. That's where right the, the police that, station was out there. It was blank. Remember, it was blank. The police station been up here for years. You know what I'm saying? So when it moved to the valley, it kind of changed 
the dynamic of Oceanside. You know what I mean? Because um, the police station was like right across, right across the street from the east side, right on this side of the west side. You know what I'm saying? So they was able to just do their activities, you know what I'm saying, and have everything done. But when you had to come all the way to the valley, Motherfuckers might not make it because niggas is every day. You gotta go down the hill. Dude. It was an obstacle. It's a little like, mission. You get in trouble down here, we used to walk away from the crowd. You know what I'm saying? Like, we didn't hear them coming. They'd be like, yeah, cuz. You did, nigga. Talking big shit. You know what I'm saying? So, what elementary school did you attend? Uh, my, I went to uh, Libby. My first one was Libby. My second one was Pacifica. I didn't never go to Del Rio. And then from there, I went to uh, Lincoln Junior High School. My first one was South Hope. That's, that's South elementary, elementary school? I went to South Hope before too, though. Okay, that's the first one. Then. I've been to South Hope uh, because my grandmother, uh, but I didn't go there doing it. I went to Libby first. My mom was a mover. You know what I'm saying? So we moved anywhere and everywhere because she we had checks my dad died when i was young so we got those government checks you know that social security that, that <laughs> real money you know what i'm saying niggas we, they're like these little two motherfuckers right here they make a thousand dollars a month we can move anywhere we wanted to so we was just everywhere right. you know what i'm saying we wasn't seeing the money didn't look good and none of that but they knew we was worth money <laughs> you know what i'm saying so niggas was like you know we was a little bit of everywhere you know what i'm saying so I grew up with a lot of guys from everywhere, you know what I'm saying? But my home base was, you know what I mean, where uh, in Valley, you know what I mean? Because the people that I knew here was people that I didn't know who they was until, um, you know what I mean, until the, my family members said, yeah, I used to be with Bo Pete, and, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, his dad and my grandma, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they know each other, you know what I mean? Yeah. Way back. Just, yeah, like way back before we even knew each other, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it was just more or less um, us not meeting each other because of the gap of ages, you know what I mean? Yeah. Shit like that. So so what year did you move to the Valley? The year I moved to the Valley, probably was, my fourth grade year was probably uh, like 84, you know, because uh, they had, we had the little Mickey Mouse shit going on with our principal. That was like 84, 85, you know what I mean? Uh, my grade school years. You said Mickey Mouse. What, what? Yeah, he was a Mickey Mouse freak. You know what I mean? You go into the principal's office, he had everything in Libby. It was Mickey Mouse in that motherfucker, like some Disney type shit. You know what I mean? Um, but we had met um, a football player there uh, uh, from the Chargers, uh, Kevin Winslow. You know what I'm saying? The original, he threw me a pass at that motherfucker in the assembly. You know what I mean? Uh, when I went to Libby. So that's why I lived no, my, my first. Because Mission time. Villa in the Valley was another black hub for, for, for us. That's in, like, right in our enemy hood, Mesa. You know what I mean? Before it was Mesa, it was Negroes over there. Yeah. You feel me? Like, hella. You know what I'm saying? And um, I lived in apartments, the brown apartments that's. The notorious Mission Villa, right behind the Libby Lake Park. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, shit didn't crack No, we're we, we going to get to Libby Lake. We got to speak on that. But, you know, that's a little... I mean, I'm quite sure of stuff that happened mm -hmm. over there throughout y'all time. But the stuff I know about happened <laughs> more within the last 10 years. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, when you got to the Valley, what was going on in the Valley at that time? Was DVC already established or not yet? No. Uh, we started as, uh, you know, a lot of people had, before me, it was him, so they had um, Valley Boys and shit like that before, because they was in high school when we was in, like, grade school, you feel me? So they had their own little thing going on that was, you know, uh, everybody was more together, you know what I mean? But um, didn't get along, some niggas got along with others, and, you know, so that, that was like a short-lived period, you yeah. know what I mean? Um, where it we wasn't became, like such a race thing, it right. was just like a valley thing. Right. Then you right. lived in the valley, you was considered different than everybody else that lived in Oceanside. Yeah. So we had a little crew called the Valley Boys. Yeah. 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 That didn't last that long, though. No. It did. So cause when we, when DVP was started, that's what really started us as, as, as far as a gang wise, uh, where we were being able, being documented 
as gang members, you know what I'm saying, DVP. And you know what I'm saying, we was just a posse. But there was a posse of niggas that we was deep. They had East Side Posse, they had, West Side was always Crips, since I know them, you know what I'm saying, and they was 30s. So when West Side was kind of bringing us uh, to this world of Cripping, you know what I'm saying, because we was like the last ones to come mm -hmm. in actuality. Yeah. If you, um, you know what I mean, if you just not gonna hate, and just, oh yeah, we the hardest, woo -woo, but we is the hardest now, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Um, because we work for it, you know what I mean? Uh, we came last, we started out crippin' now. Yeah, we started out as a posse, you know what I mean? Now you mentioned West Side. West Side, they predate y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know, East Side too. Do, do you know when, how Big far Slim. they go back? Slim, Slim and them came, them niggas was banging like in the early 80s, you know what I mean? More of like, you know, 83, 84 type shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Big dudes from uh, side. Yeah, yeah. It was, they had more of a, uh, because those, Slim and them, Big Slim and them from West Side, they more had more of a, uh, that's what we saw what Crippin was, you know what I mean? Because we saw the, it from them, like Fango from the East Side too, you know what yeah. I mean? He was one of the first persons too that I know. Um, but they, it just was when the gang shit started. A lot of people was just saying "cuz," but they wasn't, you know, what I'm saying yeah, they labeling themselves as a crip. Yeah, you know, saying so they wasn't like, "Yeah, nigga, this crip." You know, what yeah. I'm saying they was like, "Yeah, cuz." Popular word. The East Side Posse or the whatever, you know, what I mean, they was from. I, I probably I mean? should have asked for somebody to take that down. I didn't even notice that was right there. The, the little thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the little blue license. <laughs> Take that down real fast, man. You know, we're gonna get back to it. <clears throat> so, you said the West Side, early 80s. Um, I don't want to get too much into them because they could tell their own history, but do you know, do you know where their influence came from? Well, really, it was just more of a, he would probably tell you more about that, where they influence came mm -hmm. from. It was just more of a less, uh, the influence that I came from is what I saw, you know, from coming from the east side, I saw them niggas, more black people hanging out outside up there. And then the west side was over there, but uh, the west side was more of the niggas that looked more like Crips, and you know what I mean? Because the east side was more just like, Hanging out, drinking, and right. there was a gang of motherfuckers barbecuing, having a good time, playing basketball, shit like that. But on the west side, it was more, it was kind of, you know, banging. They had the khakis with the, you know what I'm saying, the snakeskin belts and the Cortez and shit like that. And that's how you was in there, being introduced to the part of what you seeing, like, this look, you know what I mean? So it was more, west side was more, because they came to us, you know, they came down there because a lot of them lived down there. Um, because of different things that was going on in my state own neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, a lot of people lived down there, but they still banged up there, you know what I mean? Right. So, you know what I mean? They was, you know, a lot of times when you think about it, you be like, mm, this shit right here is where a lot of black people came from too, you know what I mean? Because we had, Mission Villa was a, a whole black apartment complex. You know what I mean? My mom and I, I babysitted other motherfuckers' kids, and you know what I'm saying? I didn't, you know, grew up going to school down the hill and the Libby Lake, the whole thing. You know what I mean? I caught the bus in my enemy neighborhood. You know what I mean? So it was me as being a black person. I had to be around the, uh, the enemy like I had to be around my homies. You know what I'm saying? Because I had to walk to the store. I had to, you know what I'm saying? I'd be driven the basketball to the store in the Mesa area right there. You know what I mean? Because when they had, we had two 7-Elevens, the first one and the second one. You know what I'm saying? So we had to, if you lived on this part of the set, you know, from the Ave up, you had to go to the first, you know what I'm saying, 7-Eleven. Um, if you lived in the set, in the deep, deep, you know what I'm saying? If you live in the deep, because all of it's the Deep Valley, but if you live anywhere past Alberto's, Redondo, I'll say Redondo. Redondo up, because yeah. I lived on Redondo too. 
You know, so that's where I went to live yet. But really, the fire station was the, was the, was the, was the line. Was the fire station. You know what I mean? That's the fire station. It ended up being three 7 Elevens. Yeah, uh, Lavicchio's. Yeah. Right, right. Because Lavicchio's is a Lavicchio's middle was, was a spot. Yeah, Lavicchio's, people don't even know about Lavicchio's unless you're from Oceanside. You know what I mean? Because that was our hub store before Alberto's got famous. The only reason that Alberto got famous because we lost our first love one day. And there was a girl by the age like 14 years old. You know what I'm saying? So you being 14 and I'm being like 15. Because she was only a year younger than me, you know what I mean? Um, I was born in 74. They was the uh, same age as my sister. So it was like my sister and them being out there and could have got shot. Because mm -hmm. that's who they hung around. You know what I mean? That first death is probably what uh, changed our whole everything to what it is or where we come from. All right, but did when she, when she passed... Had it already turned into DVC or was it still DVP? It was DVC. All right, that's that's more so what I want to focus on. Um, what, what was the transformation from DVP to DVC and why? Uh, DV. Well, we was when we came as DVPs, we were still like Crips. You know what I'm saying? We was like nigga, everything was racked out. They went with it. You know what I'm saying? And so we was just did wasn't knowing the knowledge about. Crips yet because I didn't learn enough until I went to jail and juvenile hall and all that type of shit. I would just claim some shit that my homies was claiming. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, Friday Valley, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just because my homies that, when it started, it started so fast and niggas really didn't trip off of it until um, shit started, till we got our first death, till something happened because of this cause. So, in, in other words, we were just regular individual niggas going to the mall on the weekends with the bitches. But we was, we seen the same people every day. Because we came to where we need to go to, to see what the people we need to see. So, we go to Alberto's every day, and we going to put a, a, a corner cider plate together. It would be four of us, one on the corner. You know what I'm saying? We That's what we did. But we was out there every day, putting one or two dollars together. You know what I'm saying? To get a 40. If we had homies that was able to get a 40. You know what I'm saying? Booski, Ro, them niggas was old enough to get the bridge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, how the posse, how, how it all started as a posse, right? And then, you know, the it was older Samoans in the neighborhood that was from, they, they had a crew. It was just, it was the Valley Boys, but they, one dude went to the pen and when he came back, he was a blood. And so, he wanted to like change the neighborhood into into Bloods, one of the Semetas. Yeah, working uh, Semetas. And so, at the time, we still we just a posse still. You know what I'm saying? We hanging out. It's like a bunch of rappers, dancers, woo woo woo. Right. You know what I mean? We doing our thing. You know what I mean? Hang. And we fighting dudes all over town. Woo woo. Building our name up, but we are not really gang banging. We saying cuz, but we not really banging. You know what I mean? Until these Samoans in the hood try to. Like pressure us really, you know what I mean? Dudes rolled up on us, woo woo woo. Couple homies got jumped, woo. And then one day, the homie Quill just came up with the man. Let's let's just change a P to a C and make it DVC. So y'all was all one. Yeah. And somebody went to the pen. Yeah. Got influenced, brought it back to the streets, and was pretty much like. So like, he's trying to turn everybody into blue. He didn't bloods. go to the pen yet. He went to the county more of like Y. Oh, uh, he went to he, he went to. Uh, no, no, not quite. No, I'm talking about Ryan C. L. Ryan and Chris C. L. Oh, Ryan and Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was with the pen with Ryan too. Me too. Mm -hmm. And so, I'm on. Uh, damn, where's that? You talking yeah. about how it started with you know when he went to the pen and then yeah, how it all yeah, came, out came out and blood and and. It was like they wanted to pressure us into being bloods, you know what I mean, to, to change the whole hood into being bloods. And we just like, we just like hanging out, kicking it, you know what I mean? We ain't interested in really, we weren't really interested in banging, really, you know what I mean? We just out here trying to make money, hang out, kick it, you know what I mean? Messing with hoes, we had all kind of, you know what I mean? It, it, it was a lot of different stuff going on, you know what I mean? I, I don't want to get into it. Right, right, but anyway, right. You know, and, and then... Just a just a simple fact. It was like 
me, G1, Quill, I think it's Skee-Ball. And they rolled, those, rolled up on us one day in front of 7-Eleven. One dude had a shotgun and, and, and he like, I'm a, uh, yo, bro, what you doing in my neighborhood? And we just were standing there. We all just didn't ever say nothing. Dude said, well, uh, the dude that was driving was from um, SOS. Oh, and that was his relative. Sam. Huh? Some boy Sam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. SOS. Yeah. Wait, so so it was a SOS, which is a Crip hood. Yeah. Yeah, Long Beach. Yeah. And he was with somebody uh, uh, that was pressing DVB. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was his relative though. They was they was related. Right. And and he rolled up and cause we didn't we didn't flinch. He was like, man, get it, get get them young them, them young Crip to pass, man. And dude didn't blast on us. They rolled off from that moment on. We was banging crap. Yeah. Because at the, at the, when it came from the P to the C, it was real quick. Because we was going to the mall every weekend, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, shit was happening. You yeah, know what I mean? Crazy. Niggas like, D, you know, it was, they were like, D, D Valley Posse, D Valley Posse, D Valley Posse was hard. You know what I'm saying? And then when it was like, y'all niggas need to be crip, and it was like more of the West Side kind of, you know what I mean, was more or less too because they was our allies at that time you know what i mean like real tough with us so that's where the 30s part came from right because so, they so, was they, so that was the influence yeah because i got on. i'm the first nigga with um that as far as g-man that nigga put it on his arm first then put it on my arm ddc kilo on my arm you know what i'm saying i banged 30 before i even knew what it 30s was I got you know what i'm saying yeah, right. because we, you know what I mean, we were just following suit, you know what I'm saying, the homies, we just didn't know our history before, we didn't know our history before we banged it, you know what I'm saying, and we made a name for ourselves before the 30s was a part of us, you know what I'm saying, so when the 30s were just part of just a stamp that we ain't know really nothing about. Cause if anything, nigga, we'd bang the forties, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We were just with the shit. Right. We didn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? We're just like, nigga, what, we don't give a fuck about the numbers. It's like we would have yeah, with, with all the smoke. numbers right here, nigga. It's a million men march down here. Right. Nigga, we got niggas. Every nigga that so if it'll be hard for you to be black being from the other side. Yeah. Because uh, we was hard on all of them. I don't even think none exists but some probably some new ones. Yeah, I think it's some younger ones. Yeah. So it just it because you you made yourself kind of like a target, you know what I mean? Because it was like it was a culture thing. It was like it turned into that because we just felt like you know what I'm saying y'all get drunk or get faded or something, and we is a victim. Nah, we ain't finna be no victims. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, I noticed that. I noticed that it, it seems more of a culture thing if you if you black. You a crip. Yeah, you, you, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm also side. If, if you Samoan, you a blood. Samoans, yeah, yeah, I grew up with Samoans. Yeah, I grew up with blacks. Yeah. We played yeah. basketball, yeah. Yeah. sports, yeah. Yeah. everything. Yeah. One of us yeah. Yeah. grew up with our, our best friends with was Samoan. Samoan. Yeah. Yeah. I hate one of us. All of them. We got hella Samoans since we came up as kids. We had to fight them later on because of other yeah. gang shit. Yeah. My my first fight was in elementary. Yeah, because yeah, the really, people gonna automatically be automatically be blood. You feel me? He Plus, said we had to find the crips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had to find the like, crips. I'm like, how you doing? Everybody in school. He said, because 'Cause I'm the biggest. I said, you haven't fought me. We end up fighting. I end up whooping them. You know what I mean? But that was like the fuck. You know what I mean? Like, bro, we family. Why are you trying to, you know, you know, buck up on me? I'm not no punk. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm 6'5". You know what I mean? So I never grew up shorter than nobody. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I can't be intimidated. You know what I yeah. mean? So I'm like, nigga, what's, what's cracking? You know what I mean? And, so we all got that similar story of the culture of it. Because it's not like... Stand it's, up as being be, a black Because person. it's not like we dislike them. It's just that... They tried to bully us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, the, so, the so, bully so, thing was a big co a part of, of a, you know, because we're not gonna be intimidated by another person. Man. You, you wasn't. We saw you come up. We so know your like, bars ain't that good. So it seemed like instantly, 
they start pushing the beat thing. Y'all start pushing crit and it intensify. But the, but also, the, the, they the, was blessed the, before we but, was but, on but also you know, remember what, what what genre it was. You know what I mean? It was the NWA age. Right. You know what I mean? Because I was crippling with fatherhood. Everybody here said the same thing. We all was crippling with fatherhood. We just eventually found a hood. But we was crippling with before. Who did? Right. We right. Didn't we thought we was crips before we was a crip. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My, so we was already like, yeah, cuz, you know what I'm saying? My, <laughs> my family was South Central, right? We wasn't from nowhere, though. So Five yeah. Dudes Hoover, yeah. Figueroa and yeah. Five Dudes Hoover was my family, yeah. where, where my family lived. So that's where my influence came from. So I'm thinking I'm from Hoover. You dig what I'm talking about? I, I just said I was a crip, but I thought I was from Hoover. You dig what I'm talking about? Yeah. Until I met, you know, you know, familiar, so to say. That's when I said, okay, this is where I'm at. This is where I'm supposed to be. Got it. Yeah. And it's, it's because a lot of us, uh, I met people that lived here, man, that were drug dealers that came down here. You know what I'm saying? Pyru niggas. His name was Kim. I thought it was they. Uh, it was a broad that was selling dope. This big swole ass nigga came out like, I'm Kim. I'm like, this <laughs> straight from Pyro. You know what I mean? And you just be like, damn. You don't even see what's really going on. You know what I mean? Until you been out here, like you know what I mean. Me, me and my homies, man, we still uh, when Hill Street was going on, they had. Me and my homie Ski was we used to snatch hookers and take and throw them in the car so they can go to the other street, the other part of, of Hill Street. You know what I'm saying? And, and sell poo poo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hill Street was like the liveest street in America. You feel me? I'm talking about man. If you was a Marine and you just got off base, it was hoes, like some pole, everything you want. Anything yeah. you want. It was just like all pimps. Like El Cajon. That's from yeah. If you yeah, been anywhere, so. El Cajon Boulevard and all that, we had oh that. Goodness. But we had it in the earlier days. days you know what I'm saying? What's this the one? other one? What? Ain't there another one? South Coast Highway is Boom. Uh, that's South what Hill Street is. Yeah, oh, that's Hill right. Street. That's Hill that Street. Hill Street. They changed it. They, oh, right. Street, they, yeah, changed they it. had to change it because yeah. of the stigma. Because, because they the stigma. had the, stigma the police said if you going out on. here walking this area, nigga, you police finna do it. Control, <laughs> police control the hoes from them from the base to them where the freeway ended. Uh, the right there, that strip right in the hoes used to be where the strip club is. The, the police control all the hoes right there. Oh, no, I know this, this is why Oceanside was so special because it's, it's a transplant city. Mm -hmm. Most of us come from somewhere else. Yeah. You see what I mean? Because of the military base. My dad came here from Mississippi, right? Same as my dad, my parents. When, when my dad came here, he came here with that Mississippi hustle. So he was right there on the east side, like everybody else was on the east side. That was like the hub when you came in here black. Yeah. You went on the east side. My dad used to have a gambling shack. He used to be over there doing big things. The, the, the handball court over there right now, me and my dad. We didn't want to talk about, so that's how much history we have in O far as being a black culture. You know what yeah. I mean? The first mayor, my dad was campaigning for. It. He was telling me about how old society is right now, because I'm in the construction industry. So he's, he's a general contractor. He was telling me back then, they, this is the last coastal developed city. You see I'm getting at? Everything else, that way and that way is developed. This was the last developed coastal city. It's all that because stuff. of the military base, everybody coming from somewhere else, it made it like that mecca of, you know, almost like Harlem night, it was always something cracking going yeah. on. You know what I mean? That's what produced us. The you house know. is right on Clare Street, where all the hoes stay. Yeah, I Two had to be where all of it here for so many years, as far as, you know what I mean, since the 70s, we can all say, I know I've been here since the 70s. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Um, yeah. I know he's been here since the 70s. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know, and my family came from St. Louis, Missouri. I was born in St. Louis, Missouri. My sister was born at Tri City Hospital, so I know we have a how long I've been here. You know what I'm saying? My sister um, was born in Camp Lejeune Base right there in '76. That's where yeah. came here. My you daddy's know, so a Marine. People that say that they own Oceanside. 
a lot of people don't give you the credit because you know we was the last game, but when it when it turned out after it's all over with, we the longest lasting and the biggest as black game. You know what I'm saying? It's Pasole and us, we cool. You know what I mean? Um, oh, we we we, 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 no... we, gonna, we gonna get to that. I want I want to get to I want to get to uh y'all established now. Yeah. Start getting locked up. Juvenile Hall. DVC. Banging DVC. You in Juvenile Hall. Who went to Juvenile Hall first out of y'all? Out of us? I don't know. You been to juvenile, I've been to Juvenile Hall first. Yeah. When you get to Juvenile Hall, what yeah, year was that? And what was the atmosphere like at that time? Uh, when I went to Juvenile Hall, nobody ever heard of Deep Valley Crip. You know what I'm saying? But a few people. You know what I'm saying? Um, the people that came before me, they went to Juvenile Hall. That was our only... So when they went, they, they they went through the same thing I went through. Because when they went, they was like, nigga, this is who I am. So when I went, I had to go through the same thing they did because we were just still new. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it was more or less, you know what I mean, um, meeting the individuals in juvenile hall. You know what I'm saying? Um, and like, where you from? You know what I'm saying? One of the first pe people I met was... Um, uh, you got to think, when we started this whole thing... It's like me, three, four other dudes, we 19, yeah. 20 years old, you know what I mean? Yeah. As if we couldn't buy we liquor kids. by ourselves. <laughs> we had to stand out in front of the store and, be, and hustle somebody to go in the store and get us some liquor. Right. You know I mean, that's how old we was when we started this thing. And these, these dudes that was pressuring us, they like, you know, they almost 30 already, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. when, when the whole thing started, you know what I mean? And so if this is our... Youngest homie when we started, and he like what, 12, 13 <laughs> when he was trying yeah. to. So, so you, went in, you went in the juvenile hall pretty much by yourself, right? Yeah. Right, because he like yeah. you know it's like because only, I had homies 20, that was coming. Twenty homies that when been we first there before me, you know. So they went to Campo first, like Quill and them. They went to Campo G Man. Um, um, Elo, Elo went to, um, you know, so now they already all in high school. Yeah, but we was in the same. We went to high school at the same time. But when I was going as a freshman, they was already going to Campo. So by the time I went to Campo, my freshman year, because I got kicked out my freshman year at El Camino our High School, that's the Valley School. So you know, what I'm saying when I went to that school, I got a robbery at that school. I went to Campo. I was in the newspaper and all that type of shit. You know, what I'm saying. That's when my journey started at. You know what I'm saying? I met um the first people I met was a uh, Dicey from neighborhood and um and um the uh from a nigga from Emerald Hills too. He was cool too. Um his name was uh Darius Miles from Emerald Hill. He had a missing tooth with Jerry Curl. So this is the first time I'm I'm ever in here as a youngster, you see a nigga with a Dicey guy. Fresh braids. This nigga look, um, got a jerry curl. You just a nigga from Oceanside, like, oh, this shit is, is really long right now. You know what I'm saying? I need to cut the flat top off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I bet you wish you would have yeah. kept it. I was like, oh, God. I was like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to bang you. I'm I telling the homie, he was like, he like, where you from? Because I'm like, he like, I, I see the DVC on your arm. He's like, what's that? I was like, uh. Oh. Deep Valley Crib, but I really ain't, you know what I'm saying? When I get out, I ain't doing this shit no more. You feel me? I was kind of like on that because it was my first time. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, I don't know if I'm built for this shit. Bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it 100. And um, he was like, yeah, I'm from Neighborhood Crib. I was like, oh, you in this guy? <laughs> like, yeah, what? He like, then he told me the nigga up here is for Don Moves. I was like, oh, damn. That's how they doing shit there. I was like, so, you know, you know, these, you know, this was in the 80s. Bro, you know what I'm saying? I was new to it, like fresh from it. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and like you said, when you're seeing black people that's claiming a different game, uh, yeah. um, that's your enemy. It kind of like it threw, it threw me off. I was just like, it was a culture shock. You feel me? I was just like, what cuz? You know what I'm saying? Nigga? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh shit. You know what I mean? It kind of threw me off. So then when I realized it and went through it, uh, it just happened to be through like Operation Red Rag, you know. So, so that was deep. Yeah. Stupid. Yeah. I went doing the Mike Tyson. Like I was telling you, Mike Tyson was got took his first loss in that time. That was like 1990. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
I was on my way to Glen Mills because I got kicked out of Campo in uh, like 88, 89. I got two DRs. Uh, Fat Boy was in um, Campo with me. And there was another homie, Squeak Box. You know, so you know Squeak Box? I don't know him, but I heard Yeah, uh, Squeak Box. You know what I'm saying? Um, we was in um, Campo. You know, did a, it was a gang of coasters there when I was there. It was more coasters. It was Joe Jack, too, from neighborhood. Um, he was from 4-1. You know what I mean? Uh, I went through the Juno Hall system, C Rip, like I was telling you, Brandon. And, and some more, um, uh, Lil Drac, um, uh, China Boy, you know what I mean? Um, it, it goes on. I could just, you know, it just a, a motherfucker been through so much shit in so many neighborhoods that I fuck with from neighborhood and from the coast that, uh, it's pretty much, man, you know what I mean? They think that I'm from the coast or neighborhood when I go to jail. You know what I'm saying? Because when I go there, they like they think I'm a coast nigga because I got 30s on me. And then if they don't see no tattoos, they think I'm a neighborhood nigga. You know what I'm saying? So I've had that type of, uh, they just knew I was a crip. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So nigga just had to deal with that part as growing up in life, period. Now, now you said they... Mike Tyson lost the fight, and what what happened? What the Damus do? Man, uh, we walked back to our cell. Everybody kind of like fucked up. Like, damn, Tyson just lost. You know what I'm saying? Was shit hanging out. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is hot. We walking back up the hallway at 700, and turned around, nigga. The whole hallway was just flooded. They cracked my nigga from the east side, um, 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 Nadal. And it was a neighborhood with us. So it was me, him, and, and the neighborhood. Brandon, his name was C Rip in the neighborhood. And uh, they cracked cuz. Boom. We turned around. I just see the whole juvenile hall flood. I'm like, they coming for us? Niggas <laughs> 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 is like, motherfuckers jumping over me and shit. I'm on the ground. I'm like, oh, damn. Oh, damn. Police is running. And it's. Uh, it's going down, you know what I'm saying? They just, just slid me. So the police come. He said, I'm on the ground. Yeah, I'm on the ground. It was, it was, wasn't, I wasn't like, here, come. I ain't going to even lie, nigga. These niggas whooped our ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They slid me in the cell. They get this like, they closed the door. I'm like, this ain't my cell. This ain't my cell. You feel me? I'm like, nigga, you know, these niggas going to come in here and get me again. They slid me, just slid me in one that was open. All so, right, you know, so. So, so you, you, I don't, how long did you do on that term? On that term right there, that was my, um, when I got kicked out, I did two years and four months. God, I went to camp on first and I was doing time and I got, uh, uh, a DR in RDC and then I went to, uh, to route two. I got into a, a DR there and the second DR, um, they rolled on the Crips in route one. You know what I'm saying? Fat boy and them. They was just about to leave or about to go home, but T Road just left. You know what I'm saying? He just left. So now the Crips is like, you know, they got Shoe Baby, um, the nigga from Sendo, T Bone. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, they got. But you said from there. Sendo. Yeah, Sendo Mob. Yeah. Like Lincoln Park? Lincoln Park. Damus is deep. Yeah. Sendo Mob is Damus. Yes, yeah, so that's Lincoln Park. Yeah, so yeah, you said, oh, so you said that he fought. He fought. You just said naming the people over there. Or you yeah, said they got out. The people, yeah, they jumped on the homies in in the uh, campo in that route. Mm. It was the only probably like five, it was a nigga, um, big Fee dog. Fee dog was over there with them. He was the only Oceanside nigga over there, and uh, it was you know husters up in there. A couple like maybe one huster and a couple crips. You know what I'm saying? It was probably like two or three coasters. Uh, Cap rope. Uh, I can't think of the other two niggas that was up there. Because one of the um, the husters, you know what I'm saying, he was from 4 1, but his uncle or somebody's from the coast, and he was, they were trying to make him claim 20s from the coast. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say nobody's name or nothing, but they was show. All the Crips was in, in round one on the blue shirts. Mm. So, you know, we was over there. Sick B was the only Damu and a couple Asian niggas. Uh, so, the Asians was Damu's too? Yeah, it was an Asian nigga. They was from B Down. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah I down. heard of B Down. Yeah, he was from B Down. And um, they had the Panoi type shit going right. on, too. Which was, you know, they was banging. I didn't know who they was, but they was. Yeah, they was, yeah, the, the Asians. Yeah. The uh, OKBs. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I, 
I'm like, oh, these niggas Chris. Come on, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Like, come, we need y'all, nigga. <laughs> uh, but like, that's why we were super, <laughs> super close with uh, Little Vista, too, because, you know, we VCs. You know what I'm right. saying? Little Vista, we, yep. them is the VC homies, too, cause, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Right. I got yeah. hella love with the deuce deuces. They're yeah. my niggas, nigga. We chucking up north the beach. Side, you know what I'm saying? And the north side. You know right, right, right. We chuck up the end fingers, because that's right. north side for right. us. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? Um, them is our guys, man. You know what I mean? We uh, a lot because we we clean to certain niggas that that you in jail with. So yeah. you know what I mean? We was cool. We had a real big coast back of uh, shit, but you know how sh- shit happens with Crips sometimes. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, a lot of times it was all love though, homie. We learned a lot, and they learned a lot too with us. You know what I mean? And uh, uh, the, the neighborhood we been fucking with them, especially on our hood days. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They was coming up fucking with us. On the regular, you know what I mean? Um, we'll go down there too. You know what I mean? We in the fourth month. So, you know what I mean? We represent the folk. You know what I'm saying? It's on my legs. You know what I mean? I'm always represent the folk. I'm a folk crip. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that we they don't know it's 422-3. Oh, you know what I mean? You so, call me cuz. <laughs> you know so, so, so when you get out, you said you did two years. You get out about 92? Two years, four months. I got out uh, the beginning of '92, cause it was right, right during the time uh, when shit was like getting back together. Cause I did the the riots and shit happened like right in this midst of time of me getting out of Glen Mills. You feel me? What's up, cuz? What's up, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, OG? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, man? What's up, man? So, yeah, it was about... Yeah. Yeah, for sure, huh? It was about the time, you know what I mean, uh, of me getting out doing the riots. Cause we, me and my homie Ski Ball went to the riots. Uh, when the buildings was already burnt up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we went up there, they were drinking, uh, had barrels of trash can barrels out there with liquor and shit in the motherfuckers. You can just go up there and grab a fifth or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You be like, oh yeah, this shit is crazy. So that's when I got out then. I went back to the pen at the end of the night too. I, got, I didn't get cracked because when we was in the apartments. Oh, so wait, I went to not to cut you off, by this time you already 18. I was 17. 17. So I want to know what, what was going on out here at that time when you get out in 92 What's going on out here in the streets of Oceanside? Like, is it is it is 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 escalating with them dudes? Yeah, because y'all had already. It was, it was going on with everybody. It was going right? on with everybody. Ninety-two. Everybody that was established by, was you know. By the time ninety-two happened, we was feeding with everybody because ninety-two is yeah. after your Christmas sister's up. party, right? At my sister's party. What, what year was that? Uh, that was uh, that. Yeah. that was um. Uh, like 92 ish, you know what I'm saying? 92. That's, what it, then that's uh, when we was 91, 92, because it was, yeah, whenever, whenever it was her, it was she her, had um, the party, it that's was, when uh, we started feeding with everybody. That's, that's when, when it was, it was her birthday. Everybody knows she's um, It was her birthday when that happened. Um, we She had a party right there on Siesta in my neighborhood at, at the house we lived in, you know what I'm saying? So when that party cracked off, that kind of just, you know what I'm saying, where we had the, the independence of everybody was just like, we who we is, we who you is, and we going to stand on that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Everybody was like Until me. that point, I think. Um, everybody was pretty much cool. With everybody. We was, it was like super tight. We were like cool with, 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 with most of the, the Crips in Oceanside. We were speaking with the Samoans and the Mexicans. The Mexicans. They, okay, they, that's, them that's, that's what I was going to ask you. Them, so, them so, 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 we the, so when did the the, the beef happen with Mesa? What year did that crack off and why? The year that it cracked off, we were still in high school. I don't know. Oh, I was in high school because um, I'm going to tell you what it cracked off for me. When it cracked off for me is being in high school and uh, my homie J-Lo uh, and Elo. We was the only homies from the set that was there. But we had homies that claimed the hood, but they wasn't from like DVC. You know what I mean? We had Valley niggas that lived in the Valley, but at that time, we was the only ones from the hood. And then Debo. 
Big you know what I'm saying? Really? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Big Demo was, yeah. um, we Big. put him on in high school, the, the high school uh, days. All right. When we was freshmen, you know what right. I'm saying? So, uh, actually, we were sophomores. But, um, Kenny Riddle. Yeah, Kenny Riddle was from the hood, but he really wasn't like this DVC with the roof. He, 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 he went with anybody. He's a high, he's he's a high school yeah. still. Yeah. Yeah. We was all still in high school. And so, yeah, us and him, our first, our first little, uh, our first little confrontations and shit like that was, you know what I mean, of being when you know who who is who and who is who, and we, you know what I mean, it was more or less, it was after that, you know what I mean, in our high school years. That was when we got into a Mesa, because Mesa was, I rode the bus uh, during our high school years, and I lived in, um, I lived on Holiday Way, so it was only one bus stop, and we had to go to Liddy Lake. In front of Libby Lake, mm. you know what I'm saying. So we had to walk through the old folks' homes, which is, was the Ave. When we lived on the Ave, I lived on Ave Avenida. That's the yeah. Ave. You know what I'm saying. That's the, the Ave. Two on one Avenida. You know what I'm saying. So when I stayed there, we used to have to walk to Mesa to catch the bus to school because it was uh, that was the, bus stop that was the only bus stop in the hood. You know what I'm saying. So we walked to that bus stop, and I made somebody get out the seat and. Uh, because this was my seat. I sat there every, you know, month, every day. You know and they all knew us. Yo, yeah. man, I'm like, seat, they yo, know man. who we is anyway. You know what I mean? We we grew up with these motherfuckers all our whole life from grade school. So I wasn't scared of no Masons or none of that type of shit. I knew the motherfuckers. I walked to the store every they day. They weren't really doing nothing, though, at that they time. They was cool. They you know what I mean? And then they just, um, I went, I must have went to, to school and had a normal day and they just called a gang of motherfuckers. So by the time we came to the bus stop, the whole Mesa is at the park. You know what I'm saying? And the black people the black people that was on the bus with me, it was just me and my sister. And they was like, uh, what's up, homes? What's up? What the whoop? They pressed us. You know what I mean? We just like they one of them pushed me and my sister was like you ain't gonna jump my brother. You know how black people is. She was like, <laughs> you ain't gonna jump my brother. So we walked to the first house right there in the old folks home. I called my um, my grandma, my mama, everybody at the house. So my mom and them just came up there like, yeah. you know, they was crazy. You know what I mean? My mom and them knew everybody over there. You know, we used to have to ask the Mexicans for the, for the money. You know what I'm saying? We used to be like, my mom said, can she get a dollar, you know what I'm saying, for some cigarettes. You know what I mean? And so I lived there, and I had to, you know what I mean, go get store. When they wrote a letter, well, my mom used to write us a letter to go to the store to get cigarettes. That's against the law. <laughs> nah, I used to do the they same thing. They sold me cigarettes, nigga. <laughs> they gave me cigarettes because she wrote a letter. She left-handed. It looked like I wrote it. You know what I'm saying? And to go get a pack of Newports. You know what I'm saying? So we grew up. When they first tried to uh, establish something, it was just the part they came. My mom and them came. They went to their cribs like, who going to jump on my son? Who going to jump on my son? They were like, nobody. Nobody. So it, it was, was over a whole with. racial thing. You know and then, that's what, that's they, what I was going to get to. So, so they started coming to where we kick it at. Too. Yeah. When we kicking it, you know what I'm saying, and we, we'll be up there. We didn't there. go out and mess with them. Yeah, it they was just, just come. It was we was a black group of dudes that was establishing ourselves in the neighborhood, and we was already fighting off these Samoans that was trying to uh, 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 punk us and incorporate yeah. us into what they were doing. They would just pull up and say, and they would jump. They, they just started <laughs> with it like they now, 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 come now, at now, now, I was, now I was going to ask was was it like. The Samoans and the essays against the blacks was they not beefing yes. at the time? It, it no. was more or less we was. They just beefing. teamed up against y'all. Yes. Yeah. We was the only black people down there, so yeah. you know what I mean. Um, and they didn't want they didn't want us to establish no no black protection in that neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which is what we was doing. Yeah, because it was we was the aggressive ones at school, getting kicked out, fighting. Robbing, stealing, all the whole little shit you could do at school. I was drinking up old Englishes, you know what I'm saying? At at, at um, El Camino, tall can, in the backpack, early in the morning. 
You know what I'm saying? So you were just like getting ready for what you finna have to go through. So so when you got out in 92, it was already on with the Maces too? Well, no, no. Or no? Oh, it had just started? Yeah, it was it just it already, that was in the times when they was coming to the hood, like, you know, drunk, faded, like it, jump me. Little things, you know? yeah, little uh, jump things and stuff. Uh, we want to fight. Or they just, because they faded. A lot of times it was because they was under the influence. You know what I mean? And, um, when they see you on the regular, they like, what's up, Eric? Like, what's up? You know what I mean? They saying your real name. You feel me? But when they fade it, it's, I'm, I'm with the whoop. You know what I'm saying? Oh, when they got the advantage. It, a yeah. lot of that go. Even with the um, BBB yeah. niggas. They be cool to whatever. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They go all out. Then they run straight in there. They coming out with aunties, uncles, old people. And we teenagers and kids, though. They come out with their parents. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? From a church. At that, they come out from a church. Yeah. With their parents tripping, we don't really know how to react to that. Was right. Initially, though, they had a somebody like mom and daddy, yeah. you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, they brought their whole family they out. They yeah. out there, and they tripping. The old lady tripping with the dress on, with the moo moo, whatever they wearing. So that throw niggas off, too, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? Must, I moved like to like 91, 92. So, so pretty much they was bringing their family to some gang stuff. But they probably wasn't telling their family that what this it was game, about. They just yeah, saying they tripping, y'all tripping. They trying to fuck with me. That's and all they hear is they tripping and they coming out. As far as the message, they was... What they would do, they would get their ass whooped by the older homies or the G homies, and then they would come and fuck with some little kids, a nigga like me, that was in elementary, 10 years old. They'd come in and they hopping out and running us down because the homies didn't beat on them or whooped on them. You know what I'm saying? So they like was a little more rude because they didn't give a It was racist. You know I mean? It was oh, they didn't give a fuck. Thing. They coming this back now because they didn't squabble over the gang kid, shit. Now they're trying to find beat us. Up. You know like, what I'm saying? Why and they it, beating up little black kids? Yeah. That, they're not well, beating from nowhere. You know what I mean? So we had to start just. Catching the, this, the they folks. So much on that though. You know what I'm saying? But that's what the and we wasn't even right. really you know into that doing that, but they that's that's, that's a line they was pressing. So oh, we had to kids. press the and same that, line. That's why we started early too though, because they was fucking with us in elementary. Yeah. And and that, had a, that, that, that was a big like, part of it. Yeah. Like it was just more of, so they can uh, fuck with the homies. Attack. The homies was on their ass. They can do nothing with them. So they'll take where they can get. You know what I'm saying? Right. I remember being like 11, 12 years old, getting dumped on. And now you didn't know how to play. They didn't roll by me two, three times looking at me and park. And I kept pushing up the same street. And they when I came back, them. they shot at me like a motherfucker. So I didn't have a clue, nigga. I'm like, damn, they rolled by me looking loud, la 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 la. I'm from Trey Logan doing whatever, but I haven't been school. Trey Logan was the kid gang. The right. homie grabbed and, and grabbed with the homies. They tell us, like, nigga. And they parked right I seen them parked right there and everything. As soon as I went right there, I stepped one foot on that thing. It was just dumping like a motherfucker shooting at me. And that right there grabbed a lot into with me early on as far as with them. Like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, it's cracking. Right. You know what I'm saying? Whatever y'all talking about, I'm on y'all ass. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and that's that's the type of stuff that people don't think about that can come back on their community. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you shooting at little kids, kids. Yeah, yeah. Right. just that's because of their right. skin color. Yeah. And then yeah. now when it start happening to your kids yeah, and your you know, little cousin and your yourself. nephew. Yeah. Exactly. Now we now, we, now we the monsters. monsters. We the monsters. We the monsters. Though. And stuff. 20 years later, 30 years later, you know what I mean? Y'all was doing this to us. We didn't. We didn't start it. I see a like that. Look at baby. They roll this way down the Elaine. I'm on Elaine. Y'all yeah. know how long Elaine is. I'm coming off of Stephanie on yeah. Elaine. Mm -hmm. I see them coming up. They're looking at me. They roll back down again. Bust the business at me again. Then they parked right there on gold right there on Elaine. Right yeah. after the part of the light right there. Yeah. And until I set my foot on that other side from Elaine to gold, they start shooting at me like I seen this truck. I seen the minivan. They was all right there. Yeah. And that, that put a lot in me too because I never thought. I seen them looking. You by the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? You was a kid nigga. at that time, nigga. It was. It was Super yeah, it was active though. They got at me. And when he was, when you think about doing this time, my, our first, our first death was 1990. Yeah, 90. Yeah. So you know, 1990, I'm, I'm, I'm a class of 92. So my, my year solidifies like a whole lot. Yeah. As far as the solid homies too. You know what I'm saying? It's the only three, three people that's from my generation. You know what I'm saying? It's me. D Mo and uh, J Lo. Solid. Get down. What about Big Giddy? Giddy is uh, a year yeah, younger or a year older. older. Okay, yeah. but them no, three not older. Days, He's a year younger. younger. Oh, yeah. He's the same as my sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a 75. But them three but names, these, them niggas are so about niggas. You think about it. Them three names. Yeah. This is where people like Get Down got his name at yeah. from these parties that we had. Uh, because every, every time we went somewhere, we after 90, after 90, you 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 uh, you going you was gonna understand us because we was on the news uh, every day because they was coming yeah, to the hood. My wife that was on the news. They was talking and, about the whole thing. Yeah, he, they went. Right, I was, was there. hanging out with my wife. There was gang banging out there yeah. in the streets. And I was the out there. I'm out there as a young kid, 
and you out there, two dark moves come walking up, you know what I'm saying, and then squabble happens, and then next thing you know, you standing out there like a fool, and somebody, they start bucking, and you just a little kid, like, <laughs> they came back on a nigga. We ain't know about that type of shit. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers came back and fought. They came back and bust. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't even the people that was fighting. It was somebody else. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like, all right, that was the first blood yeah, that shit. That was the first gunplay. Where you know what I'm saying? Once, say, once there that, was consequences. It was too, just you more like, saying? y'all can shoot these 14-year-old little kids and y'all grown-ass men down there. You know what I'm saying? Because they was a, a way older than me. I know that for a fact. So they bust on us like that. It just made us upgrade. So so it pretty much escalated from there with D V B and Mason and whoever else y'all was beefing with in Ocean Side. Who, who else who else was y'all getting into it with at Everybody. that time? The East Side and you know West Side and later on. Um but um insane, East, like the, 94, insanes, the insane we beef with them too because they yeah. was in the valley, they was in the mid. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's where they what, what, to y'all recollection, when did they come out here? Had to be the, I don't know. They I'm came young out young. in the um, in I, the in the uh, cause, cause these are the same insane from Long Beach, right? Not necessarily. No. They not just had the name. Ain't nobody from Long Beach was out here that started uh, that. Somebody they, brought that name out. They here. wasn't they, uh, they never had a connection to Long Beach. Maybe this like, cause they had a main street here before too. That was more connected. Uh, it was just because of LA influences that came here and niggas started claiming it. All of but they all end up getting into it with us. And a lot of people made it, and some people didn't. But the insanes, they stayed down with they with that what they get down yep. for, for many years. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And then most of them is more, uh, Valley too now. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's how uh, I look up to them. From that's why we click to them. They Mid Valley, Big Valley. Deep Deep Valley. Valley. You Deep know what I'm saying? Valley. Because we named it, that part of the Valley because it was the mid to us. Yep. Because you ain't really in the set. That's the D. Yeah. So it was the you know what I'm saying? Valley. Y'all Valley, but. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just admit. You know what I'm saying? So, 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 they took so, that with it so what was going it. on with other gangs like Tri City and, and, and Tri City? Crook City. Was, those, they was out for a long time too. You know what I'm saying? Because was y'all beefing with them? Beefing. All of them. And it wasn't really about beefing because we really didn't see them like that because we didn't have cars and all that. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like on site. Yeah. We'd be up there kicking it or something and then. They'll pull up. We on the mall. We at the mall on Saturday. They decide yeah. to come and shop. It's cracking. Yeah. Y'all got to, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Getting down. So the, the, the Tri City Bloods, they we, they was um, yeah. you know um, they, they, not, they really was not a threat of um KCB. You know what I'm saying? It was really like the yeah. same thing, basically the same. Because thing. we never KCB really saw KCB them. Was like the we same we thing. had a big influence over us already. We had DVB, nigga. That yeah. was the biggest and, and, and the hardest and ones. We go, we had, at this time, we had to fuck with all of them. DVB, Mesa. We always fuck with the lab. We always fuck with the crib at the same time. We always had the natural fuck with DVB and Mesa. So we just all rolling like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Straight up. And we handled all that shit accordingly. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, they all know what's up. You know what I mean? So. You said you was a part of something called Trelo. Yeah. What was that about? Um, that was in the hood. You know what I mean? We started that, and Trelo yeah, probably started. No, excuse me. I'm trying to get my love to y'all, man. Respect you. That's all we stretch. I was telling you about. Appreciate it. That's all we stretch. I was telling you about. Tasha got my number. The baby Tasha, so just hit me. For sure. Man, I gotta go to the Amazon shit, but man, love y'all, cause keep doing your shit, man. Keep doing your shit, bro. Appreciate the support, though. Definitely all the way. Yeah, all the time. So yeah, as far as Trey Look, that kicked off probably in like ninety three. That was some that was some shit that probably kicked off at like Lincoln Middle School. You know what I'm saying? Probably had a different name at first. They probably influenced probably a movie that was real popular South Central at the time, but it was called Deuce. You know what I'm saying? And um I was in elementary at the time. They started that at Lincoln Middle School. You know what I'm saying? I was in like the fifth grade. We had a homie who ended up being baby C nutty. He brought that shit back to Valley View Apartments to me and a few other homies out of the elementary school. And once we got a hold to it, we started climbing it and banging it. You know what I'm saying? Seen, and we eventually, yeah, and we, we eventually turned it from Deuce to Trey Lowe right there in Valley View Apartments. And a lot of homies who are here today, like the homie Lil Nut, I don't know where he's trying to bang him in, because actually started at Lincoln Middle School. You know what I'm saying? He was the first person that was naturally from Trey Lowe, because went to the halls. He ended up getting locked up with some older homies. Well, they was juvenile hall homies too. You know what I'm saying? They put Cuz on the set right there. He became Lil Nut. You know what I'm saying? So, But we kept pushing Trey Lowe on the streets. Right. And it was going on. So what's homies like, specifically Big Demo. Once Big Demo got out and seen what was going on with us, we been around the hood we from the age of 10 to 15. We was in the, the pen for about two years, the first time going to the pen. So these the age of about 10 to 15 years old, we got Trey Lowe cracking. 30, 20 to 30 young niggas out there. And we been through the set every day from Valley View to Pacifica. You know what I'm saying? Doing our shit in the, in the set. 
deeper than anybody. You know what I'm saying? So when Big Demo got out, he got a, he got a whiff for that. You know what I'm saying? It was homies to my age though. My my day one, that was from DBK, that one from Trello. Like my niggas Tiny Nut, um, Bill Will and them, they was already banging the set. Mm-hmm. Cause they never claimed Trello. Real, never, real, real, nigga, real, 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 they never claimed Trello. Nah, they didn't. They, 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 they never claimed that. So they already was claiming DBK and shit. Yeah. Trello was never from DBK. We made our own right. thing. They had DB D Valley Kids too. That was another offshoot of DBC too. Yeah. And them homies became from the hood. So as far as Trello was going, when the homies got out, as far as G homies, and they seen what was going on, and like it was like a little friction too though. But not the G homies. Yeah, niggas the like homies that was out to the, park, the homies that niggas, was out probably niggas, was like 15, 16 years y'all old. For the and they weren't trying to put the song up. They were trying to like bully us a little bit. When the older homies, when Demo and them got out, the homies that since age got out, they, they seen what it was. Yeah. Like, oh nah, nah. Y'all, y'all gotta be from the set or we gonna get at y'all ass. Yeah. We definitely wanna pop with DVC because naturally we all want to be from DVC anyway. Right. We just started doing what we was doing. I had it changed to be from DVC when I turned 14. That's the thing me and the niggas who might would say, like, we're going to get jumped in when we turn 14. But we was doing shit and shit was going on in the hood. That was how you got accelerated. Started, it accelerated to the point where a nigga didn't make it for 14. I was 12 years old when I got put on the hood. Like, when that happened with Big Demo, and he said that shit that summer, that was all fresh out of elementary. That's why elementary still going to sixth grade out here. It was, a, it, was, it was like a party. You kick off the summer, and the homies came in from DVK and was saying that. And pretty much, I linked, I linked up the next day with, like, me. The homie Baby G man, um, <laughs> my cousin Corey, he ended up being from the mob right now. Mob probably in Compton, um, yeah. Lil Black Capone, and yeah. the nigga Dope Boy, he ended up moving out of state too. And we were sitting there, we was just kind of like, what we gonna do? This, this, and that. They talking about they coming to niggas' houses. I'm like, you can't come to my grandma's house, so nigga gotta jump ahead of this shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we just like, we're gonna have this, and it just went from there. We went down there to the um, homie Dope Boy house. A gang of homies was there, and um, it was a gang of squabbles that day. Gang of niggas got put on, gang of niggas got put off, and niggas just squabbled up, and that's what it led to. And, um, I ended up being the first person, like, beside Lil Nut, when he went to Juvenile Hall, he got put on the hood from Trey Lowe to Juvenile Hall. When right. that move got made by Big Demo, well, I ended up being the first person that didn't jump in from that. That got jumped on from the streets. From the streets, from that. And I was young, and that was just based on, because the homies that was down or uh, older than me, but the homies that was there in the backyard was my age, Tiny Nut and them, Bill Will and them, yeah. the other nigga who ain't no name, he ain't no good no more, because, yeah. you know what I'm saying, they put me on right then and there, and it just, it just, it just went from there. As far All right, as so, so y'all was doing that. And you said they was in a pen. Yeah, as far as I knew, cause I always heard about big kilos, a lot of kilos going around. Just I knew I like the niggas that was influencing me became the original Northside Riders, like Lil Kilo Nim, rest in peace, baby get down, rest in peace, Lil Ski Ball. There was some riders though, yeah, baby baby riders, Kilo, yeah. my nigga Big Tone too. I'm gonna give a shout out to Tone, for Big Tone. That cuz had a big influence on me on me seeing cuz every day on the set. Well, it's pretty because I see because every single day, yeah, they banged out because they're right there. He worked the domino. Most of their family too, was kilo. Yeah, you know, know what, what I'm saying? So, because had a big influence on me too, though. So, it was like that, though. You know what I'm saying? Now, I, I, I want to I wanna know. I'm going to get back to you. For sure. I want to know, what was it like hitting the pin? And you already said, basically, like, how it was going to juvenile hall. Motherfuckers not really knowing about Oceanside, not knowing about DVC. By this time... Niggas in San Diego know about DVC. LA don't know about DVC. The Bay don't know about that. So when you hit the pin and you got a press for your section in your city, but it was, I know y'all press your own thing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But was that immediate or was it y'all was rolling with the homies? I mean, y'all still roll with the homies, but y'all press your Oceanside thing. Yeah. But was it like, Y'all came in there like I want to press. We pressing OSC or was it? Was y'all trying to press SDC and and met some resistance? What it was, I'ma tell you because uh, I met resistance. It wasn't resistance. It was just more just like nah. Y'all because, gonna be little homies. Um, trying to sun y'all. They was trying to kind of sun the motherfucker because and we was going through the same shit and niggas was fighting murders and. All kind of cases and shit like this. So you, you ain't been little homies. <laughs> you you know if you ain't gonna. But it, it's, the, it's, it's, it's the same thing with 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 homies from L. A. They 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 try to they sun try to San Diego it, as a whole. Yeah. So you yeah. got San Diego trying to sun Ocean. Say, all right, shit. This how we getting done. We gonna try to do it to yeah. y'all. It's just, that's just how. And it that is. was just how it went. So it was just more or less. Um, it was just certain little shit that happened uh, at, at the time. Um, where they was feeling like we finna discipline this nigga or you know shit like that and we were like nah you ain't finna do that you one know of, what I mean um, one, of, one of the most dangerous things in America is the black man do that you feel me they try to disestablish dominance in, 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 in the gang culture what is a black man's ego 
You dig what I'm talking about? So it don't matter how big you are. Yeah. Where it, comes from. it don't matter. It just you know depends I mean? it on just the people like, that you dealing with. If they let you do that to them, you know what I'm saying? If it's like, no, nah, I'm, I'm not with that. So the homies is like, all right, cuz, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, <clears> let that shit go. You know what I mean? And motherfuckers dealt with shit the way they had to deal with it. So it just made us, well, we pressed our own line. Our ego is not harder than me. Yeah, right. You so can't do what I can't our own line, there wasn't that. Yeah, we not SDCs or whatever, you know what I mean? Because we is SDCs yeah. in all that reality. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we fight the same niggas that y'all squabbling right. with when we go to jail. We, you know what I'm saying? We're going to see the same motherfuckers that we come to your part of the town. Right. They're going to treat us the same way that they, they treat you. I, I like to compare it to like SDC, OSC. It's just like hub and a dub. Yeah. yeah. Two yeah, different cities. Comparison. They still yeah. like this one, in the pit. Yeah. Right. Same thing. Niggas always show me love. Right. Yeah, so I never I'm always blue. So, like, so niggas always show me love. Niggas like, love like, me. Like, 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 we have to establish do. our own independence. Right. Yeah. Just you know what I mean? To say we're, we're independent. We fuck with y'all. Right. But we got our independence. So right. that so y'all politics can't fuck with our politics. Right. That's all it was. You know what I mean? That's all it was. Yeah, and it was just more or less, you know what I mean? Uh, when it was, it was just only uh, to a point where it's like two, two niggas, three niggas, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. So it's just, it, we gonna have to love each other exactly. regardless, because I'm the on fourth. Too, though. <laughs> I didn't even know the though, where one, so, I was the one, I was SDC but, and OSC. But to right. go back Straight to up. what you were saying, you know what I'm saying? Been on yards, going, going to the, uh, the pen you know at the age of uh, 18 years old. That, that changed my life forever. I understood what it was. I knew what it was. And by that time, I had it mastered. You know what I'm saying? Because I had to master it at that age. At the age of 18, <clears throat> I went on my age number. You know what I'm saying? So I went to the Donovan, you know, when the bus was on the side of the building. You know what I'm talking about. And it was a weight pile right in front of it, in, building, in front of building 16. So, you know, Building 16 was, was the reception, you know what I'm saying, for us, anybody from San Diego area. So, if you're familiar with that, when I came, they they gave us the three-strike paper. The paper, like, this is all you got. And whatever you with right now, that's a feeling, that's a strike. So, that's you just like, mm. I was already doing my time. So, you started with paper. two. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? So you just like already um, up against the suit, and you being that age, uh, being arrested, and they telling you that now you got three strikes and no more to lose. You know what I'm saying? You just like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was just that paper, and they made you sign it, or you wasn't gonna get off the reception. Not thinking that nigga, I ain't signing this shit. That wouldn't have got me nowhere. It was just like the haircut laws and all that type of shit. Yeah, you're going to sit in reception and not going to get to continue with your program. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I went to there when they took the weights in Donovan, when the weight law came and they took the weights. I was in the pen through all those years. You know what I'm saying? And homies is out here doing their thing. When I came out of, of prison, you know what I'm saying, they had two different new cliques. Well, how long did you do on that term? I went, I did from 92 to 96. All right. Yeah, we was cracking by that point. I was on. Oh, it was so, full you know, fledged. Full fledged. By the time I hit, Hello came, by the time I hit the prison we yard, deep, we I hit the prison yard in 93. We since Hello came 30 to 50 deep. But I got out in 96. It was on. I got out September of 96. It was on. So Hello came in summer of 94. It did. We was cracking by the night. Niggas had already caught the game cases. It was deep. So by the time I got on the 96, uh, we had two different cliques, West Side yeah, Riders, man. Blue Devils, young and riders. then Young Riders. Yep. You, know what so we had like, yep. you know what I'm saying? We had like, do, 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 because the North Side Riders was like right under us. Yep. Blue Devils was right under them. Was still, a lot of Blue Devils, the Blue Devils was a gang of Trailos, the Young Riders was a mixture of Trailos and DBK. You know what I'm saying? But it was some original DBCs that was Blue Devils too, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Baby Kilo, them, all them was, yeah. um, yeah. Tiny I'm Key, too. Tiny I'm Kilo, yeah. I'm Baby Key and Tiny Key was original DBCs. Those were the start of Blue Devils. Devils. The older niggas is started Blue Devils. Valley yeah. Villains. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when I came up, it was just Villains. You know what I mean? So that's what I got on my chest. You know what I mean? I'm a villain. So all these other cliques start yeah. off generation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's how it happened on yeah. generation. Because these when it yeah. it came down to it, um, the 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 
us as being valley villains, that was just something that, that we, you that know what I mean? Thing. We uh, we just felt that we was yeah. anyway because we was the villains in the valley. Right. We tore shit up. Yeah. You know so, what I'm saying? People had, they, they could say what they want to say. you had the other two say. gangs in the valley against y'all. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So you there's there's times where they even teamed up and tried yeah. to, they had to team up. You know what I'm saying? where they even linked up and was trying to get it better than, you know, still was to no, no avail. You know what I'm saying? So right. When I was doing my thing, because we all came up in our different areas, I, I'm an older nigga thing. You know what I mean? Because I'm taller and older, bigger than them. You know what I mean? Like I said, you know, earlier, how I was playing the fire dudes who, but I didn't have a home until I found Cubo. Cubo, one of our mutual homies, that J Lo, you know, that, that connection. We live all in the same area over here off. Uh, uh, Fire Mountain, yeah. you know what I mean? Right. So you had different sets of, of yep. villains and mm-hmm. niggas. So J-Lo and them was up there with them yeah. too. You had the homies in Shady Way too. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I was from Shady Way. So you <laughs> from all of them. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Arthur Street. It was like the Siesta. You know what I mean? Because in El Camino, the only crib hood in El Camino was the Valley. Yeah. yeah. Main Not Street Main Street was a uh, was was one of the cliques we was beefing with. We was beefing with East Side because they shot the homie. We was beefing with Main Street because they I don't know who the fuck <laughs> No they, on everything. No 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 they disrespect. Just but just to say that yeah, they it's it's some cats from Oceanside that's trying to claim that yeah, right. so we never we never gave them the. One of my cousins. I had to it, tell it was, my cousin. I it it was already they, tension yeah. with that right there. Like, yeah. y'all from somewhere else. Yeah, y'all from Ocean Star. Yeah. So, y'all so, so we used to call them base crips because most of the dudes that was from Main Street lived on the base. Yeah. So they were safe. You dig on talking about They didn't so, have no actual hood? Nah. No. no. They just claimed yeah. Main Street. They Washington. just claimed it. You know what I mean? So yeah. they was in our air because the valley is. Where the it's base big. was, yeah. it holds so a big they lived in the one base. Of them my so I remember when they was going through and they was going through the insane niggas, and they was right there in the deep. That's because they was coming away from my grandma house and being around my oldest cousin, you know, my oldest female cousin, Keisha yeah. Black. Oh, yeah, I know Keisha. You know what I'm saying? They I got three, four kids right now. Nick, you know what I'm I know yeah, Nick, Nick too. Yeah. So he was yeah. had a bigger force. So I seen him when they was getting tour with him. Cousin had a little force. Nick, he's a year younger than me, Nick. So, yeah. He's a seventh yeah. grade. I remember so, I posted a picture with me because my cousin Kishi got it. So with that being like, said, I know him. Like, are you are you okay? Like, <laughs> like, like, I know is his name Eric? Like, what's going on? That's the homie, cuz. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, homie, the East Side, East Side Main Street. Street with them. We we was beefing with East Side Main Street. Um, ICGs. No. We, well, I, but when I came in, it was now, we, now, no, 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 because the ICGs so, so was for with people, the main streets. They was with them. When we got into our squabble. I'm gonna tell you, Bill, me, G Man, Booski was all together. It was a few of my homies, a few of their homies. The the main streets was by themselves at first, and then the um they was getting resistance. You know what I'm saying? Because homies just got in the squabble with them first. J Lo got in the squabble with the yeah, nigga Larry yeah, Lips. Yeah. He got in the squabble with him. Do no do. And Kareem and them came down here. You know, Kareem was from the valley that's, too. Oh, yeah. So we they got that's into it he with uh, he got into it with Kareem first, and then he got into it with we got into it with Larry Lips first, then he got into it with Kareem. Whichever the order was. So then that just start making us feud. You know what I'm saying? Because these was already older dudes and we was this age. But they was like two or three years or four years older than us. You know what I'm saying? Some some was two, some was four. Like Larry Lips was like probably four. Uh, Kareem was probably like one or two. You know, so he probably was fifty like you when we was forty eight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when when that shit had happened, because we our little generation during those eighties and nineties, we had it it was hard in them days, nigga. That's when it was active, active, stupid, dumb, you know, niggas was acting up. You know what I mean? So when all those little squabbles and fights happened, they thought that because the niggas was Claiming, you know, they was like these niggas. We Main Street, y'all ICG. They finna click together, and they tried to, and we squabbled them niggas out at the same time. You know, what I'm saying niggas got the homie G man got hit with the thing that I got stole on nigga. It was a cause I, we faded the niggas one on one. Boom, 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 boom. Nigga, this valley, nigga, what's happening, y'all? You ain't finna do that down here. And we had people that that's over me that 
stood on it, nigga. G man, the niggas we got that's gone right now, nigga. It'll be a whole different. You just seeing what's left, you know, because we, you know, what I'm yeah. saying. But my niggas is gone, key. You know, what I'm saying real niggas. You know, what I'm saying um, because they just those are the ones when we kicking it. I could be over here chilling, knocking the ball. You know, what I'm saying doing my thug thizzle. My niggas is banged out. You know what I'm saying? Man, I don't have to do nothing because they niggas. just finna do it. Something's finna niggas. happen to that. Yeah. You know I was the type of nigga that was like, come you on, cuz, know. fuck them niggas. Cause you know, Let's kick it, nigga. I got woo, 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 woo. Nigga, we finna slide to the sin I need that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These niggas protesting. You know what I'm saying? You be like, come on, cuz. We ain't gonna never get home. Dang, man. You know what I'm saying? Now everybody's like trying to get back to the set. You know what I mean? Because my niggas was stupid dumb with it. You know what I'm saying? They was just hard, hard, hard in the paint. You know what I mean? Niggas wasn't taking no no disrespect. And we ain't taking no disrespect. Every hood got that. Every hood got that. that. And my niggas stood on it to the fullest. Everybody that, most of the niggas that's from my generation are older, are a little bit younger, all got time, nigga. We got niggas that's doing time. Been so, in there yeah, for a minute. We got niggas that just, that just got out total package, doing 15 30, years, yeah, 30, 25 you know years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We didn't the pay our dues, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Especially game. on the main line. Yeah. All right, so like I said, the homie, he going he gonna to tell his own story when he come on here. But you mentioned the homie, the homie Ski Rock from oh, the hood. Yeah. That's my nigga right now. Cousins, now, 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 Ski Rock was coming out here functioning with y'all in the yeah, office. He with my he had, he had a big love with, with, with niggas in my generation. His generation. Right. With Tiny Nut, yeah, Baby Rock. Blue Jay. They, yeah. When they first prison term, and they did it in like 2000, 2001, they like and they That's came the home, they all came home with Ski Rock, and they all did that first time together. Right. Yeah. And that, so, did, that was the love right there. You know what I'm saying? So, there, so there was a situation that happened with him when he came out here. Yeah, first he shot. Got right. Do yeah. y'all know... Uh, what that was about? Did he explain how it happened? Mm -hmm. Like I said, he gonna tell his own story, but y'all can give y'all perspective um, of he, what happened. He, he got out. He had been. He was with a couple of homies from my generation, my era, that he just did time with. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They was out. They was pulled up in the set. Good. Um, just seen probably a smoker nigga that was a Samoan. He left from the 7-Eleven right there. We shared general area right there, stores and gas stations and shit. He left, so the homies right there when they pulled in the gas, all of a sudden they seen the whole play. And they came from over because Arthur Street right there, it's a dead end. They seen that just three, four niggas walk off of Arthur Street. They came and they stood across the street. You know what I'm saying? It was a little exchange of whatever, gang signs or whatnot. And, you know, they got off. Niggas afraid they got off. Niggas ended up dipping or whatnot. And, um, you know, the homie ended up getting hit that night out here in Oceanside by them niggas. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, from that point, those niggas got right, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? The next day. Right. You know what I'm saying? Niggas went and got right. Niggas handled right. that right then and there. And it just went from that. Not only just that next day, it was, it was, it was issue. Yeah. It was cracking. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. so, so they saw right, some more dude. Who you said look like a smoker? Yeah. He walked off. He drove off. He and drove off, and I'm guessing he went and told them yeah. dudes. Yeah, and they came right. And the homie seen him walk up and everything. Gotcha. So it was even a standoff, and it was like a three, four stand. It's like what's happening? And they was across the street by the Al Cerdos, and mm -hmm. they said, and the homie's right there just pumping their gas, and they end up dumping, and um, the homie end up end up getting hit. You know what I'm saying? And so you know, the, um. You know, niggas dipped off the other zones right Yeah, there. I remember when I heard about that, I yeah. was like, yeah. But niggas got cracking the next day, though. Immediately. Yeah, niggas got, you know, immediately. 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 It was a lot of shit, though. I remember my, my homie Jello would be telling me, like, he was out at the time, and, you know what I'm saying, niggas moving around. He talked to a homie from the neighborhood, and he was kind of upset about it, you know what I'm saying, about what was going on, what happened. And he told me about even trip. I got this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't worry about nothing. So we just get some shit to fall basically you know, you know, you know, yeah. us. We had to handle our wax on that, you know. Especially what I mean? on that so niggas did. It was just uh more or less. He was a nigga that really fucked all the time homies though. Right. You know, you know, they still do. do. Still do. Even when I went to yeah. thirty years later, it was and just I was top ten with Cubs. So niggas uh, part know. of the game banging, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You outside, yeah. And this is what happens when you outside. A lot of people think that shit like that don't happen, but it do. Yeah. In these type of little areas because they see yeah. certain individuals. And he's a real nigga. The nigga they do was some of the most active niggas. They want to be involved right. with you know them. I mean? Have some type of association, yeah. whether they fighting you, shooting at you. They want some type of affiliation with you. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because they know. Right. You a you target. Yeah. yeah. You a target. You a they, target because of your affiliation. You yeah. a target because of your reputation. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? You go yeah. higher up on the yeah. list. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so it, it just feel like they. Um, by messing with you, 
they feel like they messing with the right one. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, okay. It no be no wrong. It's, it, it be right. It be the type of the shit that, um, that we losing real homies about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We lost yeah. so many yeah. loved ones yeah. because, because on that. You know what I'm saying? Of, uh, you know, even homies yeah. that just, yeah. just yeah. got, yeah. you know what I'm saying, locked up recently. You know what I mean? It's, we got, it just, our shit, it just don't stop. And not because we asking for it, it's because that That's it's a defense did. mode. It's That's how defense. we built. It's gonna be some over we here. Built, it's gonna be a certain type of way. Defense. It's gonna be a certain defense type of way. Defense wins man. championships, man. They say it all over the world. Right. So that's why you know what I'm saying you're not gonna feel like you done because if you look at the scoreboard, you would, you would know. It's lost. It's like right. like like on real talk, family. We keep it classy. Yeah. Everything we do, we try. We to like keep to it be classy. cool with everybody because and kick it. We got strikes. We've been through that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Niggas ain't ain't, ain't new to this. We true to this. You know right. what I mean? So we understand. You know the cause and effect of shit. You know what I mean? So ain't none of I'm, I'm a grandfather. You did want to talk about? You, you want to come back? Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm a grandfather, man. I'm not trying to jeopardize minds for some bullshit because these yeah. motherfuckers won't recognize that I'm not gonna fold. You know what I mean? You can't walk up on me and think I'm a fold, nigga. You exactly. gotta me. You know what I mean? Exactly. So I'm gonna fold you, or you gonna fold me? You know what I mean? But don't play with. It. You know what I mean? And these motherfuckers out here playing with. It. Don't play with a nigga like me. You know what I mean? Don't play with a nigga like none of us because we're not playing. We've been here too long, been doing this far too long. You know, right. I'm 50 fucking years old. I'm about to be 51. You know what I mean? What the fuck I look like out here, you know, wrestling and tussling with some motherfuckers. Yeah, I was you know what I mean? nine this year, man. You but at the same time, months. I'm not going. That's just what it is. Now, um, there's a couple indictments that happened out here, right? Or was it only one? But I know it was a big one a, a few years back. Was y'all caught up in that? And what was that about? I wasn't. I no, was, I just meant like your homies. Yeah, the homies was. It was some indictments. Every summer there's an indictment. Yeah, it's, it's been indictments like through, throughout. That's what I'm saying. I knew it was more than one. Every summer there's an indictment. It seemed like it's always on the news. A sweeping ocean side. It yeah. seemed like it, it they happened all the, the time. They did the, the last one was us. the the pimping and pandering thing. Right, that's the one yeah. I'm talking about. But, but that was blown up because they was getting a, a lot of cats that wasn't with that. Well, that's how they do them yeah. indictments in general. They, they did wrap the same everybody thing up with the the Libby Lake shit too. That's why I need the homie to come back because yeah, he was yeah. talking about that. Was, you, was you a part yeah. of that? All right, go ahead. We all was. Um, they came and kicked in our doors at the same time. Can Can you explain what the Libby Lake? What that was all about for the people who might not know, and what was the aftermath well, for that? It was just more or less of something just happened between two different little groups, and it was something that would just you know happen between them, and it was just more or less um, as it went on. Personal they, situation becomes a gang situation. Yeah, you uh, just being living close to each other. You know what I'm saying? And at this time, I'm grown. I got my own shit, and I don't even stay in this, the town. You know what I'm saying? So it was just more or less of you just living in your area and getting familiar with your community and going through the, the confrontations that come with that. You live in the hood, you're young. It's based on confrontation. You know what I'm saying? So what you saying to me, it means a lot. You know what I'm saying? So what it said to that individual, it meant a lot to him. So they, you know what I'm saying, um, them by them knowing us as a as a home front, they came to all of our doors, you know what I'm saying, at the same time. Okay, let me let me back up for a second since the homie is here. Um we was speaking on the Libby Lake situation. Well yeah. we was just getting started. Okay. Now prior to this situation happening, and I gotta explain for my subscribers because they're probably like, what the hell is, what is this? Yeah. All right, Libby Lake is a park, a big lake. Yeah. Um, is it outside of y'all hood? Or uh, borderline? It's in, it's in our hood. hood. But, it's it's in our hood. but it's in the valley. All of us yeah. in our hood, yeah. but they, they claim just, that. They take, that's their yeah. area. That's All right. Let's, and, and, let's, and, just, let's just keep it real. That's their area. It's their area. Right, the it's their it's the area. That's okay, the and by day, that's Mesa. Mesa local. For sure, that's Mesa. All right. right. That's the area right there was there. a situation that happened prior to this one where two people was killed in that park. Yeah. I, I believe some some Vista homeboys was 
arrested for that. The not saying they did that. Yeah. Yeah. That was the last no, one. No, no. Oh, that they, was the they last one? They doubled back. They doubled back. Oh, shit. Okay, Something right. happened before that, and they, they when it was like a celebration to that, or like a, a year or two anniversary oh, of that, okay, they doubled okay. back on that because they knew they could try to catch them in a vulnerable situation. All right, all right, and all right, cool. Did. Okay, all right. So, so for my subscribers who's probably sure. lost, um, there was a situation at Libby Lake Park that took place. Uh, there was some 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 kids or teenage kids, whatever the case. Yeah. I don't know if their affiliation was to Mesa, to, yeah. to Mesa locals or whatever, but they a couple of y'all homies was arrested. A lot of y'all was arrested, yeah, right? Yeah. They came and swept all of y'all yeah. for that. Yeah, yeah. Can you explain what that was about? What? When did that happen? And how fast did the police come and snatch all of y'all? Um, that probably happened in like May, early May of 2011, when it, when it actually happened. Um, niggas start, probably started getting arrested for that shit probably within 1st June. Or yeah. Within two you weeks of it happening. When first. it happened, I, when was first, working, yeah. I was working on base. You know what I'm saying? So it was, it was a while back. You know what I'm saying? And um, we, uh, you working, doing your stuff every day and then you wake up in the morning time and they running up your the steps we stayed in um marietta temecula borderline right so we got our upstairs downstairs crib big old crib you feel me me and the homie went in now. yeah we went we had a big ass house together you know what i mean and they came up that mug like doo -doo 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 -doo, with many 14s you know what i'm saying on, on everybody oh, here no, yeah, party. No, 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 at the um, when we was at the um, when they kicked in the door for the Libby Lake shit. Oh. You was still, I think, in the pen. Um, but the um, they kicked in the door. You feel me? And they so was like, they was they was um, they right, right up on me and the yeah, homie too at the same time. time. So I came yeah, in there. Yeah. I'm at the um, I'm in. I'm like, what the hell is going on? You know what I'm saying? I got <laughs> heat. I got nothing clips and shit. But I got the M1, you know what I'm saying? They take all that. I'm going to jail for a felony with a gun. And they like, um, yeah, your name is Master Kilo. You the Libby Lake murderer. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, uh, oh, 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 they, they got all the, uh, the bracelets. You know what I'm saying? The kids, they didn't just cuffed everybody with the plastic jones on, they, on right. their wrist. Yeah. And set them on the couch. And they're like, they're like you're Master Kilo G, right? You the sensei. I was like, oh. Oh, so they try to make it seem like <laughs> you caught the, the keys. Yeah. Like, so I'm like, what? Yeah. You are, what the? And simultaneously, they went up on Yeah, so they take us all to the county. Easy. I see him in the county. We he against the wall. He was like, I can't. They try to talk to me. Can you know what I'm saying? I'm like, they just be cool, cuz. You know what I'm saying? I'm right here, man. You know what I'm saying? They got me too, lo. You know what I'm saying? How many of y'all did they arrest? Uh, Probably uh, me, Tiny Nut. You, mm -hmm. they got Lil uh, Nut too. Um, Lil Nut, um, they got a Lil the Nut. The um, three niggas on the on the murder. Yeah, the motherfuckers on the, on the murder case. The home girl know? too. Yeah. Um, they got and uh, somebody just started. Like, hey, oh, they got a girl too. Yeah, the home girl. They had a bio too. Though. Though. They, they everybody, had, I wasn't on the road in it. But I wasn't you. Everybody. They got a little I'm telling you, they was got the names. Oh, because he said, because he said, it was like eight people that went to jail behind that shit. Yeah, they was like, they was like, yeah. Parole violations, you know what I'm saying? I ended up doing some time behind that shit. You know what I mean? You had to do a time? Yeah, I ended up having to plead out. At that time, though, at that time. What did you? For reals? For reals at that time? What did you, uh, what did you plead out to? He was the biggest name in the hood at that time. Yeah, um, at the time, because I had to plead out to accessory to a, um, to a felon. Yeah, um, at that time, I, I ended up. What, what was the felony? Murder. Double, so they. Double, so, double homicide. Double, two murders. So you had to plead to a case that. Yeah, I had nothing to do. I wasn't there before, after. They know they yeah. had no evidence with me. I was just and, so tied up, and they wouldn't even give a nigga a deal. No. So the thing about it, when you catch a case like that, you have multiple co defendants. One person, of course, will get the. Um, somebody. Gonna get the um, public defender. You no, one person will get the public defender. So yeah. everybody else gonna get a paid lawyer, a paid attorney, you know what I'm saying? So it was going on like that. They ain't really had no evidence on me, nothing. I wasn't really, cause it wasn't shit, you know what I'm saying? I pretty much had to just wait it out, you know what I'm saying? They wouldn't offer the nigga, they offered the nigga 11, you know what I'm saying? So I was just getting to play, wait, just wait that shit out. Yeah. With my lawyer and I ended up getting, I had to just take like a blind Cause I went, and, I went you know to try to get the alpha David because when they kicked in my dough, they didn't show me a warrant. They just came in, do, 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 do. So yeah. when I went back, I was like, you know what I'm saying, where's the warrant at? 
You know what I'm saying? They're like, yeah, we got a warrant. We got a warrant. I was like, well, produce the warrant. And they produce the affidavit. So that's that what no warrant, uh, made me fight my, my case more because I was I knew I didn't have nothing to do with it, didn't know nothing about it or nothing. You just came and kicked my door in because of some shit you heard. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's Master Kilo G. You a motherfucking liar. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I'm a black man with a family. Yeah, I'm they, just they, a black man with a family. They, they use that for a reason to come yeah. and, and so sweep you. They're trying to do it, yeah. Trying to get in and say something and speak. You gave me that felony. Exactly. That part. Most likely and justly. But what I'm going to do, go to trial. As a juvenile. Everybody else. And no, it seemed, it seemed like I it seemed like got twenty life, life without parole. It seemed like you know y'all got the well, y'all for sure got the uh, least amount of time. Yeah, on that. Mm-hmm. And everybody else probably got whatever yeah. they got. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, because it was, was all already the caught. You know they was I mean? already yeah. caught before we they yeah. came and kicked our doors in. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They was yeah, already caught. Trying to get Somebody who's already confessing made brothers off the street as they can. Yeah. So they Man. when they keep they door when they arrested these people already, we was out here like Wait, you said there was a confession <laughs> already before. I'm saying they, they arrested certain it wasn't like all one day. You know they, tell they arrested the niggas phone, before they, they came to his house. Don't say the house. They had the niggas that the three that did it. You know what I'm saying? They had already got everybody, two of them had already basically told. You know what I'm saying? So when they just was following up with whatever they want to follow up with. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you're trying to case on So whatever. You know so how what was was those kids affiliated or, or was yeah, it a yeah, mistake? Oh, okay. No, no, of course it was. Because I, I seen little because, stuff. Because um, you know, I hey, seen little stuff and they try to make it seem like I mean, the, the guy that did it. You know what I'm saying? He probably went there. You know what I'm saying? He was just there. He was out there on the random, right? Pissing and whatnot. And he just went to the bus. They were smoking. And he went to the bus to take a piss. All I and know somebody is spoke to him. We had a fourteen year old homegirl that got killed, and it wasn't no. Big deal like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Little black girl get killed in the neighborhood. It wasn't, it wasn't no big deal like that. But now it's some yeah. other I'll, I'll race say, of culture get killed in the neighborhood. The person that, the person that, big they, deal um, now. that, that, that took the case on it, the charged with the killing on all that, he, he was Spanish. You know what I'm saying? So when he went to do whatever he was doing in that space, to, to take a picture, whatever to do, spoke to him, they spoke to, to each other. He identified himself as being from Mexico. And it just went from there. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So the homie, they didn't even know he was up there. He probably went to go use the bathroom and do whatever he was doing. And the dude said something to him first. And then they spoke back and forth in Spanish. It just went up. And he did went from there. When the dude told him who he was, and just that just happened at that stage. He went like that. You know right. what I'm saying? As far as I know. All right. So that happened. Um, like you said, y'all, y'all, they come kick in doors. Y'all go to jail. Uh, and then a year later, yeah. the anniversary. Yeah. The VHBs the, doubled the, back down. Yeah. So they came through. They was having the um, whatever they have over there, memorial service right. or whatnot, and they and they slid back on them and they knocked down three right teenagers. Right, okay. and that was crazy because yeah. I was like, they God damn, down nigga, they yeah. better stay off that park. They better. I mean, it's been, it, yeah, I mean, it's been pretty quiet and happened since then. But they went up there for the memorial, and yeah, they had whatever kind of issues they had with the, the oh, yeah, home boys. They on doubled on down from y'all so was, so was was privy to what was going on to the right. memorial, and they went they went up. They went right. up on it. You know what I'm saying? Basically, the same thing happened again. Right. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. Yeah. Um, so, oh, this is one thing that I always hear about. I always hear about the surrounding cities, whether it be Vista, Escondido, San Marcos. You're going to all claim Oceanside. You're from black from me. You're going to all claim Oceanside. Yeah. Yeah, that too. You're and and, and that's why, that. and I was going to ask, do some of y'all move out there and influence yeah, them? Yeah, I know that, I know the black population definitely, ain't definitely, that big, definitely. but well, when I have they push you right, 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 right. When I, because because ain't nobody gonna say ain't nobody gonna say I'm from Escondido and you black. They gonna say yeah, I'm from Oceanside. Yeah. And but yeah. especially you, I live in Escondido. You pulled a lot of homies from out there because it ain't nothing original that's black in these other cities. So if you go to you go to Carlsbad, you go to Vista, or you go to these other cities, it's no Negroes out there. Yeah, but that's, yeah, that's why when I, whenever I have talked to yeah. essays from these areas, they all be saying, oh, we don't get along with the Crips from Oceanside. And I used to be like, how? Yeah, but yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. If you got niggas in those cities yeah. claiming Oceanside, sure. or you actually got homies moving out, out there, there. Yeah. 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 probably I was, getting into it. I was in Escondido for a minute. It was a, yeah. it was a bunch yeah. of niggas out there. Who's out there? Nigga, every day. Nigga, who's out there? Every day. 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 Every day.
got to every day. That's about the same time. Yeah, they they was like, nigga, these niggas deep than the motherfucker out here. I had hood days in Escondido. The deepest hood days in Escondido. The put on. Was y'all having altercations with them dudes out there or not really? Not really. They were like in a car. They might drive in the car and say something. They were getting out. They were like, you know, we were the same hat. Don't be over here. Like, get out the car then. Diablos, we had a D hat. So they see us with the D hats. They know we from the same time. So they so 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 they putting it on thick as far as beefing with y'all. Yeah, nobody. Yeah, they ain't never did nothing. If, but if we beef with, with you, know, nigga, we gonna knock some down. No. They had to go. Yeah, yeah, with, with, right. with DVC, but so we had to really just bump in. That's just regular stuff. I ain't like niggas just would just be pushing up in. Yeah, our enemies know where they be at. Niggas would be over there all the time. Go hoop or whatnot. Don't say niggas would go over there and hoop. But niggas ain't gonna act like niggas would just go over there and hoop. Niggas would be. Niggas would not the fact that they would be over here. You know how we used to do that. I was yeah, out I still there. still do it still. Yeah, we was out there yeah, too. I was, I was out there. there. I lived time. out there for homies years. Was and, was out there. you know, was crazy. homies was out was there. Deep. A gang of West Coast homies was out there fucking with us too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? T-Roll was out there with doing that time. Um, Black Hell. Um, yeah. Baby uh, Story. Uh, just and what, uh, what's his you know name? Uh, um, uh, um, uh, out there fucking with us. Uh, Kenny Boy from the coast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Was they was all they was coming out kicking there. Let's go to the time we were doing that time. Let's go back to help get money at too. See, you know, we had all the clubs that was... You know, that was some yeah. highlights. If you go back in time, you know what I'm saying, you'll know what the Crips did as far as distillery. How many, ask the Red Rash from San Diego, how many of them niggas was getting their motherfucking eye knocked out the socket. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, beat yeah up, I'm already knew because that was and coming up here. And, um, <laughs> and, and motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, knew that it was Crips <laughs> up here because niggas was getting fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Because we were like, okay, we go to... To uh, to the um, shit across the um, the border, the uh, club excess. Yeah, all that, they yeah. jumped on us, cuz you know what I'm saying. And we still didn't run or nothing, nigga. And waited for our homies that was still in the club because yeah. we don't leave our people. You know what I'm saying. So these niggas walk right back past us again after we didn't already squabble in the club. You know what I'm saying. But nobody didn't really want no funk. You know what I mean? Because they knew we was black men just like them. You know what I mean? They knew. We was Africans too, nigga. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, we don't run from battle. You know what I mean? So if that's what they wanted, then we don't. And they came back and they had their numbers group. It was probably like seven of us, yeah, nigga. Yeah, like 20 anyway. something of them niggas. You know what I'm saying? We were like, ooh. The homie Gmail was like, yeah, cause, you know, I, I got a homie that's ill. You know what I'm saying? Where you be just like, you wish you could run. You know what I mean? Because I done ran from some shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to live today. You know what I mean? I was just a youngster. So I was only right. like 150 pounds. Right. So I couldn't fight all these niggas if they was fighting. I'm going to keep it 1,000. You know what I'm saying? But I, it built me as my character. Right. Because then I knew what I can do. So then when I got my squabble, you know what I'm saying, up, and I got my, my handlebars up, you know what I'm saying, then I knew what I needed to do. You know what I'm saying? So I, I fit. I played my role. You know what I mean? I knew where I fitted in at. You know what I mean? I, I can't be the stand up, fight everybody, but I could do this. I could knock these bitches and run the train on them. You know, I just had that gift. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just keeping it one thousand. You know what I'm saying? But squad it was just, squad, you know. Squad up. Squad yeah. So, you know, I had, I had certain different gifts that other people didn't have that gift of. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? It was certain things where you fit in. You have to get in and then the other shit going to come. You know what I'm saying? So if you if you was in any type of position, you're going to build your character because we had no weak ones. You know what I'm saying? We, yeah. we didn't jump motherfuckers out damn near to death. For real. <laughs> they retarded right now. Good. You feel me? And you know what I mean? It's, it's fucked up because I, I had like love for niggas. You know what I mean? But niggas got put off. Nigga, and it was some of the worst put off. We, we got some fucked up shit. <laughs> yeah, but uh, niggas is villains, nigga. They like cut though, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't care when it's, we politic, nigga. You know what I'm saying? We with the, the nigga, if you don't do something, nigga, we coming to your house and we gonna jump in y'all. We all got homies accountable. Yeah, a lot you, of didn't homies, fight, a lot of others, you didn't fight, you, you didn't fight, you did something do wrong, nigga, you was getting jumped on. Yeah. You gotta be out. You gotta have something, bring something to the table. You just can't. They were like niggas. Right you, you be outside. You be like, you look out the window. You like, damn, it's like fifty seconds outside. You had to yeah, like, what I do? <laughs> 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 if you made some commercial DVC special in the nineties, you was a real ass nigga. Cause niggas hey, ran off and beat up a gang. It wasn't like he was a hard guy, line. 
It wasn't nothing hard. Just didn't care yeah. how, what kind of dude you was. Did. You know what I mean? Go out. You could, everybody else could consider you a square, like a, a lot of homies from the hood. Yeah. Other dudes consider squares, but they were some Yeah, because everybody wasn't like, dude, yeah, you, cause, you ever you know, with all that, they were just regular motherfuckers. Man. You know what I'm saying? But uh, when shit happened, it's how Man. they became a different motherfucker. Right. Because they end up, you know what I'm saying, being this individual that they didn't know was really in them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they were just the motherfucker that approached this, you know, this shit, and this shit just got deep. You know what I'm saying? Because we was dealing with shit every day, you know what I mean, because we was outside, you know what I mean. It pushed dudes to the set that probably wouldn't have never been gangbangers. That's a good thing. The whole racial aspect of it. Even when I was just I remember hanging with the DVB niggas. I got to go hang with And they come to meet us. I got to go hang with the high school, and our bus stopped. He's some always in these Mexicans is at me every day. I don't want to gangbang, but damn. But what else am I gonna do? This is the best option you know what I'm saying? It's right my now. best option you know I mean? right here. I wanted and, to. And not really a bad option. You know what I mean? And I like that. I wanted to. 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 I wanted to get that issue. Nigga was talking to his plan. Yeah, because then, by that time right there, we went through some shit right there. Yeah, already by the time Trey Lopez was already You know what I mean? We suffered death. Our first death, I think that's what really, like I was saying, it sparked the plug. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that day that afterwards we came every That's day. So you know what I mean? You know when somebody died, you come to the set every day, the same place where they got killed at every day. And we was at Alberto's in front of that motherfucker every day. Daring anybody to come through there. And can every you, can, day. can you explain that that first death? Like what, how did that happen and what was that about? You being a kid, I was a kid, you know, in high school. So this is nineteen ninety. And I went to this. It happened. I already explained how it happened. Or, you know, a couple of niggas came through. They squabbled up. Boo, 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 boo. They ran off, came back and bust. So, you know what I'm saying? And it wasn't even actually the people that we squabbled up with. They sent some other niggas because them niggas was kind of fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they came back. They bust on us from some apartments that was right across the street from uh, yeah, Alberto. Across, oh, yeah. So when they bust, I, I'm like, Boom, boom, boom. So, you know, they the girls running the, in the thing. My homegirl, um, Stacy, got hit in the in the ass. She got in the ass. My, and, um, well, yeah, the, my other homegirl, Michelle, was still laying on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas is like, they ran in, then ran out. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody didn't come in. You feel me? Everybody ran in the store. I mean, in the Alcerto. And then we came back out. It's the homegirl standing outside. So, every, a uh, Marine came from across the street, running across the street because he saw, it, you know what I'm saying? He heard it and he looked outside. And we, so, we ain't had too much heat back then. You yeah, know, we was little kids. So you know what I'm saying? Niggas and I teenagers. just left Bro, with the heat Bro, like 30 minutes before hey, Bro. that. Hey, Bro. Yeah, G Man yeah, um, just had left. All the I just left, left with the heat. So we was, we was just up there. Because I had young work homies still the next up day. There. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was still just, it was just young homies up there. I had another um, bride. Because we just got the squabble you know first. Know what I mean? You know what I mean? So I'm like, like yeah, yeah cause we cool, we, we cool. cool. And they double back on me. We just left. I'm like, I got to go, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, ain't nothing happening. So, so, all right. Um, so so once, uh, once that had happened, that that shit, they came. And then it was a couple some more that just came up to look and see. And then the homie J-Lo just like, Crack one of them, you know, it's just like a, a riot effect, you know what I mean? It was right. like no Samoan type thing, you know what I mean? Because we just, like, we knew what happened already. So right. that kind of like sparked that person that got cracked. His little brother was end up being a super rider from the other side, you know what I mean? In the pen and everything, and you know what I'm saying? It was Junior, and they, um, they hit Cuz, you know what I'm saying? Cuz was super active after that, you know what I mean? The long hair, the look, the braids, and the pen, the whole thing. So as that came, the news and shit came. And for people who don't know, um, the the ex Charger, Junior Seau, yeah, uh, yeah, rest in peace. He's from Oceanside, right? Yes, sir. Y'all yeah. know his family. Yeah, oh, their yeah. family, family is the probably. Seau, so I was talking about. Their family, their family is probably like was the worstest part of the game banging in the valley, no. because their their house yeah. was 
the gang that was, bang that was the Raider house. You know that was the blood. The, that was yeah. blood headquarters. So when you see his, his when you house. saw when we was coming up, if you saw a Raiders car or a Raiders van, we knew that here come the Domus, nigga. They yeah. finna press us today, yeah. and they could be drunk, faded. Going Whatever. to the liquor store to get some beer. We, we better you know be prepared. Saying? Be prepared because they hop out. They was on swole you know with the mean? chunkles. And we just a bunch saying? of And we little just cats. little skinny niggas drinking Thunderbird and Kool-Aid. <laughs> Not scared. <laughs> Not scared. That, that chicken yeah. give you that, that chicken. You know, <laughs> so, so, so what's, what y'all got going on today? What's the, what's the current state of? The DVCs in 2023, and in the Oceanside Crips in general, but the DVCs. What's the what's the current state? What y'all got going on? I think it's more or less. Um, it's more people is grown older, grown, but us as having so many different generations. Other people is that was younger and is from different generations are different people than they was then. It's you different know what I'm phases. So it's different phases. So those people that we kind of like out the way. It's other people that's we that's kind of the keys been already passed to. Right. So they're the ones that's keeping the, the torch lit. And they're the ones that's pushing the line. You know, they're the ones that's, you know what I'm saying, with the with the bullshit. You know what I mean? So it ain't me per se, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm out the way. You know what I mean? Um but there's other hyenas out there that, yeah, grand that's been, yeah, it's, it's <clears throat> other people out there that's kept this generation going from these North Side Riders and these Blue Devils, these these people that's been around for many moons, you know what I'm saying, that's, uh, that's really kept the torch lit because they done been through shit, they done did, it's, I got homies that's younger than me that did 15 and came back, they harder than me, you know what I'm saying, because you know what I mean? Um, Cause they was with the with the folks when I was trying to just stay free. You know what I mean? They were doing this whole that little right thing, though. They, yeah, and they were just doing the, the the right things. You know what I'm saying? And because of the time that they had, they had to deal with it and still stay on the main line and not be no buster, yeah. run shit and regulate shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, I you, actually, it's it's one of y'all homies. I forgot his name. He up there with my homie Lil T Rex and them right now. They in uh, Old Folsom. J Ball. I, I, uh, I forgot. J -Ball. Big G Man. I, I think J Ball was up there with T Rex. Yeah, uh, oh, was up there with T Rex. The homie, look who's Jermaine. J Ball. J Ball went to the. He was up there with T Rex. Old Folsom. Old Folsom. I just know him and T Rex was on the. Lil Folsom. They were on the yard. Yeah, he got all day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was up there. J Ball and them up there. The homie on J Ball was up there with him. I don't know if Git is still up there. Big Git down. Yeah. J-Ball and T-Rex was on the yard together. All right. Yeah. So, um, I forgot to ask y'all, what's the what's the borderlines of y'all hood, like, as far as streets? Like, east, west, north, south? Like, what is what, what defines y'all area? And do y'all still got people living over there? Because even in southeast, it's, it's a lot of people that moved out of their hoods. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers still hang over there and congregate. Yeah. Yeah. You still gonna see them at the park. You still gonna see them at the liquor stores. We still got the, the, the people that's still there don't want people hanging at their house. So the black families that's still there, because there is some black families still yeah. in the hood, but they're not related to the homies. Yeah. And the ones that is there, we can't go post up at their house no yeah. more. Yeah. They don't we want their house getting post shot. Up at certain homies' houses, yeah. um, because we still got people that stay down there. Yeah. I got um, like Amen, you know, what I'm saying I got you know other other people I'm that live down there. I'm not, yeah, I wasn't gonna mention no names and shit because you know what I mean. Because I don't want no enemigo sliding on the homies' cribs and shit. So we we got spots that we can go to in the hood because those is our safe havens. You know what I mean? And it is the point of two, we can just pull up and park. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So then right. we and we ready to deal with whatever go down. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because we'll be 
you know what I mean, ready to go. Well, niggas is within you know what I'm striking so, distance too, yeah. though. If so it's like, it's, it's, niggas, it ain't no place that we niggas, can't go in the right outside that can get right. right there. But if you think about the boundaries, the boundaries is from the Douglas, yep. Douglas, Douglas Street Bridge Douglas all, Street. all the way to the back end. Right, like, right. like, think about that shit. That's the man too, though. That was always down. I got to know about that shit. When I was to know about that shit, niggas all the way to the back end. All the way to the back Douglas Street, the Douglas way the bridge Street, is, nigga, the bridge is yeah. 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 out of here. Douglas right Street, the road. all the way to the back gate yeah. of Camp Pendleton. Yeah. That's a deep hey. valley. Avenue to Scarzo, nigga. Yeah. 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 Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Avenue to Scarzo comes all the way back, nigga. You know what I'm saying? We got the biggest range as far as... We go all the way to Douglas. All right, to the golf club. Golf club's right there. Avenue to Scarzo, right? Way to Ranch. Yeah, way to Ranch. All the way to the deep. That's all the city. Claire Ave, Stephanie. All Michael that. and it's just that place right there. Right there. Go, go, that's go what ahead. separates the yeah. mid from the um the deep. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. once you cross that, that bridge, bridge you cross yeah. that yeah. bridge, it's a little rocky waters. Yeah. It's a little bridge that you come across. That yeah. bridge, that's the mid from the used south. Used to be the a deep. river, the San Luis Ray River. That's the San Luis Ray River. That's an old monument. Monument. It's still now the church. The church is still there on the other church side. Is still that's there. Still in that church. On the yeah, mid-valley right. side is nah, where the San Luis Ray I remember, I remember I went with the homies just like 2004, but he was going to a female house and some apartments over there, but I remember he had been fucking with her for a while. He like, man, it was some apartments and he said that y'all homies be over there. We didn't see nobody. It was nighttime. Yeah. But how, how far is y'all from that Walmart? That's all right there. The Walmart, yeah. Come back bro, that's where the hood started. That Walmart is right there. Yeah, yeah, that was nothing. Was that was shit. Yeah. Never yeah. there. Yeah. Was, was that was what that little shop was. Yeah. That was the different yeah. generation. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. Was that the Walmart. Now I only know about the Walmart now because my nephew live out here, so I just went on his birthday. Got him a bike and we went to that Walmart. That's that's the Walmart in the valley. They call that the Walmart. The that's the valley. That's the valley. That's the valley. That's the valley right there. You know, so sure. that's where you're going to see niggas from the hood or the enemigos from. You know, anybody. 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 I, I didn't they're see nobody amazing. that looked like they bang, but I did see a Mason lot of Samoans in there. Oh, yeah. I seen a lot of blacks in there too and Mexicans, oh, but I seen oh, yeah. a lot of Samoan families oh, in there. So that. I already knew, like, that's, all right, that, you know what I mean? You're going to see that. They was there in the 70s when I first moved here as a kid. They done always been there, in, always the, in, been a, there. Right. in the valley. So it's like you know what I mean? the people that we fight with, we know them. Yeah, we grew brother. up with them. They my, with I mean, my brother is from Bloodhood. He's from DVB. My little brother. Yeah, Dietrich. Yeah. Because we hung with the Samoans all, all his life. <laughs> you know what I mean? In the hood, the nigga be like, they like, look at Dietrich. This nigga come through like trying to hop some shit. Yeah, he love low riders, though. You know yeah. what I mean? Wait, so yeah. your little brother is from DVB? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, but he clicked with them. He clicked with them. Yeah, yeah. 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 When the race down, we were yeah, happy. Football and all that all shit. All that playing football and sports. He played the sports with them. Stayed with you know them. I mean? And all, all homies that was into the sports, I was into basketball, so I was cool with the gang and some boys. You know what I'm saying? Right. But when the banging shit started, it was just like, you know, they were just like, it was just like, and a lot of uh, Samoans had died too earlier that was like our bridge that was in our age group. So, yeah. Uh, that was in our age group that, you know, that we was like, damn, that link by him dying, because that was when, like, meth, methamphetamines and shit was getting popular, oh, right. you know what I'm saying? Valley, man. Yeah, so the drugs that, game that was like... That meth, we had all hey. kind of labs out there because it was we had a strawberry yellow, fields. Right, man, we was and, and, all, uh, all day. Yeah, and we had a big-ass illegal immigrant population down there on, on North River Road. Road yeah. That's why right. because of the strawberry All these hills, like Mesa was and then started before. The, the oh, chemicals. Yeah. They already had shit going. And I mean that was fertile ground for us. You know what I mean? Especially being youngsters out here. We was robbing her all the time. You know what I mean? That you was know, like so that was how we got most of our money to do the things we wanted to do. <laughs> yeah, it was just more or less because we were just once we came outside with established dominance. You know what I'm saying? Because it was so many of us at one time, 
you know, you can catch a motherfucker and beat him up when it's like yeah. two or three motherfuckers. Yeah. Nigga, but we was establishing numbers was like 20 block, something yeah. every day. We was out there. 20 to 30 deep. On the we was us, on the man. block, man. I, with niggas and bitches. Nobody though. was you on the block like but us. Yeah. When you think about it, nigga, we, we uh, other niggas came just to kick it. You know hang I mean? out with the Valley nah, Cats. We was on the block. We was, was always we was something cracking. Nigga, we, we was, was outside. You know what I mean? And we no that's what made us a like staple. The block nigga, party. We that's was what outside. We because the staple that we made was um, when people was gone and they left, we still remained. And we had to still hold us down as a black culture. That's why uh, people, oh, when they say, oh, yeah, where you from? They like, you from Deep Valley. It's because we had to hold it down. We had enough numbers. We had enough defense. We had, you know, the, the structure. We had the whole shit because we got people that were doing time, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? Because we yeah. put in work. Yeah. We had the enemy right on our helmet. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Right here. Yeah. We, they wasn't the over there, nigga. They yeah. right here. Carl we was you. like... Tell out the door. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was like, at that time in Oceanside, the other gangs, the other races that they involved the other gangs, they would do something to black gangs and See, nothing would happen. We was the first gang, black gang, that was like, y'all ain't going to do nothing to us and nothing ain't going to happen back to y'all. We jeopardized so many homies because they just... Wanted to make yeah, sure you understood. We don't have to back. Everybody else was, might not get my niggas. niggas. They go. Hey, hey, homie, are y'all let was, this happen to your homie? The uh, ain't nothing happening to nobody like from said, my hood. But we ain't going to answer back. And then we back. got the mid. Like, the shit was so fucking crazy. Like you said, mm -hmm. the deep with the essays. It's the first. Nigga. Nobody answered back. Nobody answered back. But see, like, tell the real, like, it was so crazy before we even thought about it. It was like. How we was fighting against ourselves before the essays, right? Cause yeah. like we was doing that, then shit just got so dramatic. Where like, hold the fuck up, what is we doing? Look at us today, cause yeah, there's no way we finna go against each other today, nigga. Yeah. We more unified than what it was back then. It was like you said, my nigga right here, kilo, cause oh, cause I go way. Nigga, y'all just don't know yeah. this nigga right here, cuz he went way back. I learned a lot of shit from that nigga being younger than that nigga. You see what I'm saying? We, what we gonna have as black people being from Oceanside, we all from different hoods, but we all identify with the same racial <laughs> bullshit that was going on in this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. That's what it was for us. You know, this, Oceanside is built like that. So you see what I'm saying? Of a, a structured people, so that's why when uh, a person from the other side, like a black person, becomes yeah, a Damu, yeah. yeah, it's an issue. For it's an issue because it was an issue for us. It was an issue, was an issue for us. Like did, think did, about did that any, shit. Did any Samoans try to become Crips? Cause yeah, no, yeah. only from we where? Got homie, uh, yeah. Cowboy, yeah. right? Case. You see what I'm saying? Cause. Yeah. But it was more or less. I know he caught SOS, though. Yeah. It was more. It, 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 SOS was so they was, deep, uh, though, to stay within your race. Right. It's, yes. Even that's though, what it was. They beat the niggas up. I love this dude. I grew up with him, but. Yeah. They, um. They All right. Um, man, I appreciate y'all. Uh, we did about two hours, man. That's the man, longest one I didn't did. You, know, um, you can edit some of that shit, man. Man, I, I, I don't. I, 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 hey, I, 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 hey, I, hey, man, it get it get thrown up how it is. That's no, how. That's what I do. It how it is, cause, cause it's raw. You think about it. You know, ain't nobody yeah. talking about but us in the old. Cause I, 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 I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all for letting me come through, it. homie. Um, y'all doing y'all thing, homie. Just a nice because little setup right here. We fuck neighborhoods, nigga. You know what I'm right. saying? Because if if, if it could have been anything, would have been neighborhood Deep Valley Crips. You know what I'm saying? Because we fuck with the in hood. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I'm more of a neighborhood than I am a gangster, nigga, in, in any part because I'm an old trail, yo. You know what I'm saying? And we from Oceanside, so. We ain't crossing no O's out, nigga. So we from Rollins, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the 30 Crip gang. You know what I'm saying? It's on my back, on my arm, nigga. And been with me for over 30 years. So I know that I'm a real 30 Crip. You know what I'm saying? So 
You know what I mean? Um, most of the people that know when they see me, they're like, oh yeah, that's the homie Kilo. You know what I'm saying? Because I know niggas from every set. You know what I mean? And uh, every every part that walk through the set. You know what I mean? Because we didn't deal with, with everybody. Everybody. You know what I mean? And we never threw turn niggas away. You never but we stood up for our shit too. Everybody started pumping. And we up. never bowed down to no one. We ain't bowed nothing down. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, nigga, we we done fought the biggest Samoans and the and the and the, uh, the hardest essay. So you know what I'm saying. So if they, you know what I mean, they can't respect us, we gonna, you know what I'm saying, conflict. Do what you, you know gotta what I mean? do. And, you know what I mean. We gonna still stand tall through it all, man. You know what I'm saying. Right. Ends don't need no friends and neighbors That's don't need no right. favors. Right. They told me, ah, you know yes, what I'm saying. So I grew up off that structure. That yes, part. Sir. Sir. However. <laughs> I am yeah, your yeah. friend from that big old end hoodie from the hood. I appreciate my niggas for letting me come through. Man, we gon we gonna definitely run it back uh next time with, with, with some more homies, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um like I said, man, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Y'all like, subscribe. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna end it right here.